Hello, how do, welcome. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FN DM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, our Rhyme of the Frost Maiden playthrough brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG. Ah, gather around, friends. This merry band of harbingers tonight is going to include none other than Buddy, who is playing Xander, the wizard, Madeline, who is imperiled as Zalvana, the bard, Amy, who plays Fairyel, the rogue, will not be joining us this evening. She had to steal out for the night. But we have none other than Shale, who plays Delphina, the cleric, uh, back with us again after she had to chill last week. And Rodney, of course, playing Flynn, the dwarf flinging fighter. And last but never least is our many tentacled friend, Pike, mm. playing the professor. Hey, Harbingers, welcome back. Mm. Well, hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. So uh, when we last left the Harbingers, they had found themselves in a rather careless situation. At the keep at Caer Dineval, they had picked a fight with the Knights of the Black Sword, in particular, the leader, Kadroth. He had double-crossed them and then led them to their own fight within the keep amongst both his followers and the mercenaries that he had hired to off the party, in particular to off Zalvana Orun, our bard extraordinaire, who just recently got the favor of a certain archdevil of a, of a certain layer of hell, which may or may not remain. It's, 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 it's Levictus, Levictus. So, uh, so yeah, now at the end of this fight, we find that Zalvana and Kadroth have been summoned to the trial. This will be a one-on-one -on -one fight to the death. You, my friends, on stream tonight may be witnessing the death of a character, as there will be nobody else in this mano a mano slugfest except for Zilvana and Kadroth himself. So with that, we're going to go ahead and jump in and hope the Harbingers are the Harbingers of hope this evening. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can oh. be sort of like that questionable about our own optimism. You can't be doing that to us. I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, oh, the, not, the stream's unstable. You know. Ryan, you're you're, you're falling, oh, no. you're falling oh, off oh, the stream. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I have to go pee. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so All right. sorry. <laughs> so uh, we find ourselves at the trial. So as... All right, party members, you may go ahead and put yourself anywhere um, on the map that is not inside the circle. Zilvana, please, please go ahead and place yourself opposite of Kadroff in the circle. Mm, yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so we can be on the runes or we have to be outside the runes? Outside the runes. Outside the runes. Where am I? Oh, yeah. So if we can put ourselves anywhere on the map except inside the circle, does that include home? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, already, already eyeball. I am 62 uh -huh. feet away from him. So when we when we last left the Harbingers, <laughs> when we last left the Harbingers, Thub had become possessed by the Archdevil. Uh, and at, as he channeled all of his energy and rage to Kadroth, he slammed him up against the wall and said, you have, must now face the perils of the trial. And at this moment, both Kadroth and Zilvana winked out of the care. And an instant later, the rest of the party find themselves popped out and now floating above what appears to be one of the many snow-capped mountains in Icewind Dale. On the ground, Clearly etched into the snow is a summoning circle. 
protecting that circle is a series of both snow golems and barbed devils, all of which mm. are watching with fixed eyes at the two people inside the circle, both Kadroth and Zelvana. You both hear inside your heads, this will be a duel to the death. The winner of this duel gets control of the Knights of the Black Sword and my favor, the loser gets dragged to hell. So, fight fairly and fight well. I'll give you a moment to ready yourselves. Kadroth on the other side of the circle is visibly sweating, even though it is frigidly cold around him as he starts to very quickly sort of gather himself, making sure that he has all of his components that he needs, as well as giving you, Silvana, a moment to gather I'm, yourself. Hmm. I am calm, I am collected. I know what I have to do. Hmm. Is there anything you wish to do before the battle begins? Ah, yes, the whole ocarina situation. Um, so I have this new thing called an ocarina. <laughs> uh, yeah, so might I might play that a little bit. For yeah, so she's speaking of the ocarina of inspiration, which is a homebrewed item uh, that was gifted to her actually from bonus points to any one of the harbingers who can remember. Where did it come from? No, I don't think I took a note of that. Hey, I ocarina. I haven't taken notes since May because I've been, <laughs> I've, been I've been broadcasting and I yeah, just buddy, can't yeah. I have too many things going on and I just can't take notes anymore. Fairly no worries, no worries. Yeah, so the... Obviously, it came from <laughs> obviously <laughs> monsters. You absolute monsters. All right, so nobody gets bonus points then. No. Uh, I'm sorry. If anyone in the chat goes ahead and wants to throw that out, I'd be I would be very Wait. impressed. Oh, 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 I have I have the day. I just don't have it. Who it's from. <laughs> That's funny. All when right. was it? I, um, well, I just, I mean, I have the the, the page. I also have oh, okay. Kelvin's corn and corn. Yeah, whatever. And then some blade, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, they're light notes. Okay. <laughs> they're suggestions of notes. <laughs> they're suggestions of notes. Yeah. It's usually all I need. It's funny. They were gifted to you by the captain of East Haven. Uh, ah, yeah. That's they were I'm actually, it was actually uh, your prize for winning the the, the Winter oh, Festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I sing that song about things. Yeah, does anyone remember the Winter Festival? I, yeah. I do. I, I remember honestly, fish pies. I'd, I'd like time. to go back to that, if we may. Fish pies and, and door flinging when life was simple. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, DM, do, do you said that they hear it in their heads. Do do we, as her party, hear that? Do we know the stakes of this, or do we think yes. that it's just so? A, yeah. On 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 that announcement, uh, it booms across the snow cap, and so everyone is now aware of the stakes that are presented. Um, right. I'm right. gonna just because. I'm sometimes not smart. I just I'm gonna take a five foot step toward the edge of the circle here and just see if the barb double and the snow golem like turn to look at me. I'm not gonna cross it. I'm just kind of moving up to the edge of it just to see if they're clocking that or if maybe that's an illusion. So they do, and as you, uh, they absolutely clock that you, and they immediately lock eyes with you as you step towards it. But as you actually step towards it, you kind of step and then hit it. Uh, uh, very similar to a wall of force. This shield is actually a dome. It's not necessarily a circle. So in, in, you can't necessarily cross the line uh, as you would just run into a wall. Then I, I will I will turn, I will move back and I will talk, I will look at Flan and say, not as though we could get in to help anyway, it seems. Can they, can they see us from over here? Mm-hmm. Okay, no, I want to look at, uh, look at Zavanna and be like, and then turn look at my man just be like <laughs> <laughs> when he, if i see him do that i'll do it since i'm still in blade song i'll do a little bit of a flourish <laughs> just to like yes. i love it cap onto this, that so. so all of this all of this posturing is fantastic however utterly wasted as cadroth is very quickly sort of like 
flipping through what appears to be like a small book that he has uh, kept in his jacket this entire time. And he's looking through it. And then, so he is, he is pouring over his notes. Zolvana, do you wish to play the ocarina? I wish to play my ocarina. Is that, it's a D6, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So you roll your performance check. Ah, yes, that. Nah, ah, yes. Per performance that. check. Is that just a D20? I'm so sorry. Bad at this game. Yeah, roll your D20 and then at, well, actually, you, if you have your character sheet pulled up on D&D &D Beyond. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and just roll performance and that'll go ahead and add your buffer. All right, so performance is plus nine. Which so is that's a 26. <laughs> okay, so the DC for to play the Ocarina is a, uh, is a 15. 15. So you yeah. absolutely beat that, which means you are able to grant up to six individuals a D6 inspiration. Can I, okay, so I'm up, I, I can grant up to six people that. So since I'm in the dome, do I get the six? You absolutely can grant it on yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, now, all right. hang on a second. I'm not, Delphina, I don't see you uh, on the actual board. Yeah, Delphi. Yeah, yeah Delphi. <laughs> Boop, I'm there. No, you can't be in the circle, you, you'll die. <laughs> what you see yeah, is you better. see Delphina try to like pop into the circle, but she actually hits the top of the dome and boom, and it just falls from the sky. It sort of slow slides off the side. All the barbed devils and the golems are just kind of slowly watching her fly <laughs> down to the snow. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so I rolled a five with my d6. So that's exciting. No, well, now. We'll hold up don't don't burn those d6s just yet oh it's it's when i actually do it yeah yeah oh yeah. i didn't know that can i save it or I have to roll again <laughs> you I'll, I'll so so your roll will be a five when you roll it all right okay all right <laughs> Dig it. so uh that being said <sighs> are you ready we'll find out ladies and gentlemen <laughs> the trial begins so let's hey, go better, 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 swing, better. Hey, oh, yeah. better, 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 yeah. better, better. <laughs> yeah, can, they, can they hear us? <laughs> yeah. Rolling for oh, initiative. Awesome. Well, Cadroth came in at a six. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. Silvana comes in with a staggering 23.16. <laughs> let me just, uh, let me put that in descending order there. Real uh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, there it is. Good. All right, so uh, Silvana. Yep. The first turn is yours as you frantically see across the way. So Le uh, Levictus has said the trial begins. Doom, and inside the globe, this gong-like sound erupts. And Cadroth is very quickly like pouring over his nose and trying to get his weapon out of his sheath. And you have the initiative. Make I your attacks. I cast Shatter. You cast Shatter. <laughs> awesome. Second level. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, All so right. go ahead and uh, work that magic. Word. All right, so does an 18 hit? Wait, no. An 18 plus what? So you what? rolled an 18? Yeah. And then it should have, if I'm looking at your spells, you should get to add your spell attack modifier, which is a plus seven, if I'm not mistaken. Sure, I don't know where it says that. I'm, oh yeah, there it is, I found it, ha ha ha. I'm, I'm looking at your character sheet. Uh, the powers of the DM. All right. 20, so, 25. <laughs> yeah, so with the 25, that certainly will beat his armor class, which is a poultry 13. So uh, go ahead and roll that beautiful shatter damage. Poultry 13. Oh, poultry it's 13. Oh, yeah. it's, a chicken. Uh, it's chicken. It's, it's a very chicken foul armor. leather. It's not yes. very good. Cool. <laughs> so, so, just a chicken um, strapped all over his body. All right, but here's the thing. So with a shatter, you go ahead and make the attack. As you make the attack, a sudden loud ringing sound erupts, and then the point must make a constitution saving throw. So yes. he has to make a con save versus this. It looks like 15. So mm -hmm. before you roll that horrid damage, let's see if Cadroth can save on a con. Con he? We'll find out. All right. Rolling an 11. <laughs> he does. <laughs> easy, easy with your <laughs> mockery. All right. So uh, with an 11, he certainly does not. So go ahead and roll that 3d8 damage. Uh -huh. Wait, can I roll this with advantage? 
or no? No. Okay, I'm as, I'm just as there's no way to have advantage on a damage roll. You have okay, already cool. you have so you you've you've sent out the shatter. It goes off, okay. and as it goes off, he takes the damage, which is three d eight. So go ahead and roll right. three of the d eights. Six, four, five, fifteen. Uh, six, four, and five. She could right. add her five from her d six. She as a valor absolutely bard. could as a bard from the College of Valor. You can add your oh. five to the damage. Oh, cool. So I'm going to I'm going to do that and make it 20. All right. So you're going to slap him for a vicious 20 points of damage. Oof. All right. So that. <laughs> Can okay. I reach out to Cadroth with a message cantrip and say, you just got rocked. So, <laughs> so the dome is actually so you can hear the sounds within and without. So it, like sound will still travel through, but you can have so you can you can message him or just straight up like shouted at his face. I was thinking about you know, like right in the middle of his head oh, might be it. more disconcerting. Oh, did oh, you know what? Because me and Xander over here with the psychic ability are just going to just just hit his head. Oh, yeah. Let's just, let's just <laughs> constantly <laughs> psychic <laughs> build this guy. Um, all right. So uh, with that, Zilvana, that is your action. Do you have anything else you wish to do? Um, you have movement and you also have your bonus action as well. All right, so movement wise, I'm gonna wait. No, I can't back up because that would make, give him an attack of advantage, right? Oh, no, no, no. So that, so you're thinking about an attack of opportunity. An attack of opportunity, opportunity. only applies if you are in melee range, which in this uh, arena would be within five feet. So, okay. So I'm gonna back up because he's within 60 feet of me. So that's I'm true. Just gonna, that's true. Just gonna so, back up a little bit. He's like, I know <laughs> he can walk more, but I'm just right, gonna go back hey. here. Hey, you okay? You okay? All right. Uh, that's your movement. Anything else? Uh, bonus action wise, I think I can only do like bardic inspiration, but I already kind of have that. So no? Question mark? I think I'm good. Dig it. All right, cool. So that makes it Cadroth's turn. Oh God. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, Kadroth, having just been ro- like literally rocked <laughs> on his ass from that shatter attack, like stumbles back. Uh, he goes ahead and will take his full movement to try to get within a distance of you to smite you. So he's uh, gonna go ahead and take. <laughs> smite me, almighty smiter. Smite me, almighty smiter. All right. So as he moves up the 30 feet that he can move, because mm-hmm. that's. That's all tiny people can do. Oh, tiny. So he moves within that 30 feet, 30 foot range. And then he. Mm. <laughs> Still 65 feet away. <laughs> Are you 65 feet away? Yes, yep. she is. Yes, I am. Strategery. <laughs> ah, so. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dig it. So then he is going to go ahead and. Oh, mighty, mighty boss tones. What do you got? Uh, I can't even come up with a mighty, mighty boss tones song to, to, to throw <laughs> in there. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, 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 right. I mean, it looks right. like he's putting into work with it, but that's the impression that I get. Ah, there you go. <laughs> there it is. All right. So uh, he did not like that at all. So he's going to go ahead and actually summon his spiritual weapon. That's not cool. Yeah, right. I'm going to say these these things. Is it uh, Steve? What's that? Is it Steve? It is not Steve. How dare you? Steve? How how very dare you? Oh, right. oh look at the puppy. Look it's at the puppy. Tiny puppy. Oh, a puppy but there's a puppy. Are you trying to get distracted oh, by stop the puppy? It, stop it. Stop it. We, can't, we can't have battle in front of the puppy. Uh-huh. No, not the puppy. Uh-huh. That's just in bad habits. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh the spiritual weapon is going to now I say. Nobody nobody get upset about this, all right? It's too late. <laughs> it's, too, it's too late. I'm already upset. I ain't even worried. Da, 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 da. His spiritual weapon looks like Herrick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it right now. Stop it. 
<laughs> that would be so mean. <laughs> I mean, it's not Herrick, but it's Herrick's Her spiritual Her weapon. Her it sure is. So uh, he he summons the double hammer of the uh, of the of the previous cleric, uh, which of course, even though it's sixty feet, it's in melee range of you. So. Uh, mm. So, uh, it goes ahead and makes its attack. So, spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. All right, so uh, it goes ahead and rolls d20. That's not nice. Ooh, a 19 plus 3 is 19, 20, 21, 22. So, uh, that would be 22. Is that going to beat your AC? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, uh. No. <laughs> <Just Okay. laughs> <Dang it. laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to roll that D8 damage, which is a lot less than you just hit me with. So I'm not uh. super happy about that. But. Ooh. Oh, yes. Max yes. damage with plus three is going to be 11. So you take. So he summons from the air this hammer and it, and it just smashes you across the face. Uh, doing a total of 11 damage to you. Why so, the face? Why the face? Because that's <laughs> that's, what, that's what he do. Uh, Puppy uh, disapproves. And so that so that was his bonus action, and then he's going to go ahead and take the rest of his action to dash the 30 feet forward. All right, dig it. Trying to get himself into range of these. So you see him kind of huffing and puffing. This guy is not built for speed. Uh, all right. That is his action, his bonus action, and Zolvana, you are up. Did, right, so... Did he move twice? He had his movement, and then he dashed. This is his spiritual weapon is a bonus action. It is indeed a bonus action. Yeah. God. Clerically speaking. God, God damn it. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, so, okay. So since I am... Um, in melee range of this axe, like, can I, can I move? Will the axe like hit me if I move? So the, as Sean the DM constantly informs me, oh mighty DM, uh, spiritual weapon is not a uh, physical p player character, and therefore you can move right past it, around it, and it won't evoke a an attack of opportunity. So okay. it stays there. Uh, and then he has to move it on his turn with a bonus action to follow you. But I've had that fight with so many players. I in games that I've run, <laughs> I've hate I hate it so much because Steve uh, for my cleric character in Avernus is so personal to me. But yeah, yes. you're right. It's just a construct. So, All right. um, well, so dance, magic, dance, do it. Cool. I'm gonna go with uh, dissonant whispers now. Yes. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna cast that. It's a wisdom saving throw of fifteen. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. You wait, got hold it. on. I have to. I have to actually like do it first. Oh wait. <laughs> well, no, no. Yeah. So actually, technically, I have to do it first. So here we go. So well, just, I don't have to roll for you to get it. Or no. So here's I just how. Cast so, it. Yeah. So uh, anytime a spell has a uh, a spell save DC or a, like a con save or a deck save or anything like that, mm -hmm. you, like, you cast it and it goes. And then once okay. you cast it the person has to then beat that spell, that save, whatever that is. And so with this, I believe for Dissonant Whispers, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, are you upcasting it? As in like I, casting it at level two? Yeah, so you have Dissonant Whispers at level one or Dissonant yeah. Whispers at level two. Up, um, I'm upcasting it. Upcasting it? Yeah. All right, that's that's two of your second level slots gone. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that is still a DC 15 wisdom save, which Kadroth has to make. And he can because he's smart, right? Hopefully. A three? Are thing. you freaking kidding me? A three. <laughs> so I mean, he's smart. He's just not wise. Yeah. Uh, okay. He Look, he's really winded from having to run. <laughs> well, now he's got to run again. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. It's so, not the shit talking uh, we're doing in his mind. It's like so. It's your so dissonant whispers. Uh, Jesus, you upcast that. So that's four d six. Go ahead and uh, roll that beautiful d six damage. And then, of course, on the fail save, it takes the forty six damage. It must immediately use its reaction, if able, to move as far <laughs> as its speed will allow away from you. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Mm-hmm. So a five. A four. Wait a minute. Oh, what? Wait, what? What? What happened? Just one second. Okay. Okay. Cool. No, I was just checking to see if Shatter actually deafened me, which it did not. So. Okay. No worries. Your dissonant whispers still gets to go. Okay. So five. Four. Six and one. <laughs> so 10, Wait, 16. five, four, six, and one. Okay, six, yeah, yeah, sixteen. Sixteen, 16. plus six. um, plus I'm gonna do a d six inspiration. Well, now, so here's the thing. Did I have to roll that before? Well, so you've got your d six inspiration. You already burned that. So I believe the I other. I... So you can you can gift them to up to six people, but. Like only you may only have one inspiration at a time. So the other inspirations would go to your party members, who, by rules of the game, would be able to then gift back the inspiration back to you as you use them. Uh, so can I use my D twenty inspiration then? Not for damage. Okay, dang it. So. <laughs> that that would be amazing. That ball. Oh, <laughs> Another God. twenty damage on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, just the 16 damage, I guess, then. Okay. Oh, just the 16. <laughs> just the 16 damage. Uh, yeah. Shush. So, so as that goes off, like, you see him, and he's just like, what? So what? You give me give me some flavor here, Zolvana. What do the dissonant oh, whispers sound like? Um, so the dissonant whispers are this, like, really just, like, you hear, like, a couple just or like three chords that are just like, mm. oh, it's that Hans Zimmer razor yeah. blade on a violin mm-hmm. string going and, on. Yeah, mm. just like, just like, and you see like them, like, you know, just coming from me, just yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> and in that moment, every single negative thought or cruel word that had ever been uttered toward Kadroth goes zipping through his head. You see blood trickling out his nose and out of his ears as he barely clings to his sanity and begins immediately to flee from you the full 30 feet because, oh man, we're just making this poor red devil run. All right, so. <laughs> All right, he uh, he he flees from you. All right, uh, that is your, uh, I believe, what, Dissonant Whispers? That was your action. Anything else for your bonus action and or your movement? Um, Actually, yeah, I'm going to move just a little bit closer. Um, I'm going to move to about here. And then I'm going to be good, I think. We'll find out. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to find out. (laughs) All right. Awesome sauce. So as you do that, he like he runs and flees from you and then seems to like be holding his head as he turns and stares daggers at you as he is able to regain his his sanity for just a moment. He hey, is buddy. Looking, hey, buddy. You got some shit on your nose, buddy. And your ears oh, is bleeding. Oh, you're crying he's blood? Like he's your ears are so blind? Your ears is leaking too, buddy. You okay? As he turns about and charges back at you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, oh, making you not quite close up, but he comes running at you like, like a madman. Uh... And it's at this point. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna have to do it. All right. So uh he is going to move his spiritual weapon to just behind you. Mm-hmm. His bonus action, and, and it will attack again. He's gonna roll that d20, which gets to add his plus three uh spellcaster to it, which is a 19 oh. again. Damn it. Well done. All right, so uh 19 again, and that is of course 
the D8 for the damage, which is only a five this time. Five plus three is another eight damage to you. Okay. And he is going to, oh shit. Can't do it because bonus action spell, you can't do an action spell at the same time because spell casting is bullshit. All right, so, uh, okay, well, you, uh, you you feel sort of the energy uh, of his mind reach out to yours as he tries desperately to grasp a hold of your will, but the hammer blows immediately take your consciousness away from him and he's not able to hold it together. Uh, he then is going to attempt to <laughs> throw his dagger at you. Because okay. that's what he's got. Dang it. Uh, so he well, throws you... the dagger Oof! with a 13. Teen. Doesn't hit. Doesn't, yeah, no. This poor creature is just like, he reaches out, he's, ah! Uh. And the dagger just goes wide into the snow. You just kind of watch it bury itself. Shunk. Uh, Zalvana, gods help him. It is your turn. All the, right. uh, Samus uh, wants to throw in that he thinks that her dissonant whispers must sound like Rebecca Black's Friday. <laughs> Which is such a weird callback. <laughs> but I, I love it so, Friday, though. Friday, like, oh, God, Friday, no, it's not Friday. Friday. Ah. Um, all right. So, um, all right. Um, I'm going to move on up to about here. And I'm going to attack with the Frost Brand Rapier. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Um, Kill him with the totem that his god gave you. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah. Uh, one second. Because I can't remember things. Because I can't remember things. <laughs> oh. Does an 18 hit you? <laughs> yeah. yeah that'll, that'll, cool. that'll do. That'll cool. do, Bard. That'll cool. do. Yeah. Um, All right. Roll, yeah. roll that damage. Cool. If, so, if, if anyone else would like to gift her an inspiration for that, I will. I I will. You're like, like, oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. So you roll with your brand new frost brand rapier, uh, which is a one d eight plus three damage. All right. Six plus three. So nine. Now you add an ad- extra d six of cold damage on top of that. Where are you, D6? There you are. Oh, fuck, it's a six. <laughs> Sorry, I swore. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I believe Rodney gifted you his inspiration. Thank you, Rodney. Mm-hmm. Which is Thank another you. D6. Oh. Oh, it was a one. <laughs> oh. and, and we, we got the glory and, and, oh. the, and the defeat Every bit helps. there. All right, so uh, what, what was the total damage on that? <laughs> 16. 16 total damage. Well, uh, he had a, a remaining HP of two. So as, as as he hurls this dagger over your shoulder, you definitely avoid it. Like you don't even have to stop. You don't even break your run. You're literally charging towards him. And as you take off into the air, do a beautiful pirouette, the light above the mountains catches the frost on your blade. And for a moment, it seems as almost as it's sparkling like a diamond as it plunges home into his heart. The minute it hits him, he is immediately encased in a tomb of ice. This pillar will stand as a testament to both your pact with this dark God and his failure as his follower. Oof. When that, I'm gonna look at Flynn when that happens. Do you think she could teach us that? That is pretty fucking oh, dope. Hell yeah, no, I'll one too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. dope. All right. And at this moment, all of you immediately snap back to the care, as if nothing had happened a moment before. Oh snap! Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey guys. We are going to have jet lag from all of this zipping around. Oh, no. no, I'm pretty sure like some of you have like at least some form of like liver disease or something. Like it's just not <laughs> Professor good. Professor Lance just immediately any, vomits. Any from like, the, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's all, it's all right. Somebody's is, down a kidney. Like it's just not possible. Is, is Chael with us? I only us, had one to she, begin with. Is Delfina with us or she's back in the... 
Yeah, am I still a block of ice? Or... So at this moment, Delfina, you wake up having witnessed the events on the mountaintop and you're not quite sure if it was a dream or if it was real. Uh, it just seems like, but you wake up and notice that no one is in the tower and you are by yourself. What do you wish to do? Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> um, guys? Guys? This is like the start of a horror movie. Uh, and she's going to immediately go looking for them. Brilliant. Uh, go ahead and make... Oh, goodness. Give me a perception check. Perception check? A perception check. Perception check. Bam. Ha! <laughs> Mo- 20. What's yeah. That? yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, those, those cracking dice, man, they are amazing. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you see very clearly in the snow outside the door of the tower and actually leading out the door, like clear as day, a trail of, of what appear to be the boot prints of several individuals, and you can make out clearly Zolana's boot. As you and her have the same size, you share boots all the time. It's delightful. Aww. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Wouldn't it? <laughs> it's the best. Right. Okay. Well, so, uh, do you follow, follow the trail? Mm-hmm. All right, love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you follow the trail, you begin to head out of the tower, and let's go ahead and jump back to the group. Oh, group of mine. You are immediately dropped right back in <laughs> into the care. Like the instant that you left and yet not because you notice very clearly perception check. Mm-hmm. Oh, perception all check. of us. Oh, all, yeah. all of us. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wasn't, ready. wasn't ready for it. <laughs> yeah, no. At, so at a certain point, you're going to have to start rolling dice again. I know we oh, did that whole what? like, hey, just watch your friend die or not die. I mean, I only got a, oh, I only got a 10 on that because hey, I'm, I'm thinking about that move with the sunlight behind her. And I'm like, how do I always make sure the sun is behind me? If you is hold it? it up, if you hold it up like this, it should be the... <laughs> So I only got a, I only got a 10, unfortunately. That's the, uh, that. that's, that's the guard. I got a, I got a right natural 20. For a total of 20. <laughs> Dig it. I got a well, 20. Awesome. Uh, so you look around and notice that the bodies, well, I should say the body of uh, of the our previous bandit leader has been dragged out of the room as evident by the blood scrapes on the ground. Uh, and then, of course, we all know the horrible fate of Sefik Caltro, who was uh, burned and then shot and then stabbed and then exploded. <laughs> so he, he's he gone. Uh, and terrifyingly enough, you see that Fariel is now encased in ice. Oh, crap. Dang it. What? Can we go one day without one of our people getting encased in ice? I did. <sighs> no. Thub drops to his knees at, the, at your return as he sees the frost rapier at your side and goes, she has returned and she is victorious. Ah, if you please. Ah, ah. And he, he bows before you, Silvana. It's at this moment <laughs> that Delphina, following your trail, which is none too subtle, uh, appears from behind him through the secret door. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, with a very wide-eyed look on her face. <laughs> Both in seeing all of her friends and also a giant pillar of ice in the middle of the room. Uh, hi! Is it, can I clarify, DM, are the three of us still in this lower room or are we all in the office? So you were winked out from the exact same spot. So okay. you were winked back at, in the exact same spot that you're in. So okay, that's where you are at. So technically, there, so you can like, while Fariel is indeed encased in a chunk of ice, you can kind of shimmy around it, but it does make getting in through the door a bit of a squeeze. Dan, give me a hand with this. Just take the take the other end. We're gonna we're gonna walk it. We're gonna walk it. You know, just <laughs> the minute well, the minute you touch it, who was like, oh no no you mustn't you mustn't. She has been blessed by the victim. She will stay encased, safe in his hold, in his embrace, until such a time as he frees her. But I assure you, do not 
touch the ice. This is the dark devotion. Thu, she better, or my foot is gonna go so far up your ass. Ah, if you please. Um, uh, so can I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at, at, at Zalvana and I'm gonna look at Delphi. It's like, so are, are we just all gonna be conscripted by the new dark lord devil person? Uh, what is happening? I, I just woke up and everybody was gone. <laughs> <laughs> we we came in here. It was it was a lie. We got ambushed. Um, there was a bounty. Probably still has a bounty on my head. That's not important. Important thing is, Zavanna's queen of the robes, hell. guys. <laughs> I'm queen of hell. <laughs> she is the leader yeah. of the mighty knights of the black sword. She is the one chosen by Levictus to find and destroy the Durgar scourge which threaten our land. Yeah. We pretty, we pretty, we pretty much hate agree. those guys already yeah. anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. So does, it does, does, I'm loving the general, like, okay, yeah, he's out of line, but he's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a little so, bit. I mean, you guys could venture out and, and, you know, try and, you know, take on Sunblight or whatever on your own, but like, we could just do it with an army. That'd be cool, right? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would. Wait. So Zavon, I got a question for does this does this like position come with like a pay raise or something? Because I work on retainer. So like if you wanna, I'm just saying. Mm. <laughs> how much do you need? <laughs> how how much are you making is my question. I honestly don't know. It was kind of a force of hand, you know. What, it, what I I didn't get the details. Okay, when, we'll talk later. When did, mm. when did this happen? Because I feel like I laid down to go to sleep and then I woke up and now you're the queen of hell and there's ice <laughs> and there's all these people and I'm confused. Yeah, this all happened um, pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I woke up and I had a new sword and um, I was visited by uh, the more intimidating version of Levi, i.e. Levistus. And uh, you know, either you were going to do the favor or I was going to. So I had to, uh, I had to, I had to do this so that you didn't have to. He was, he's a, he's a devil. It's okay. Uh, it, okay. Please don't tell my mom. Okay, might I be the phrase I would use here? So I, am trying, I am trying to comfort my friend. You can stay out of this. <laughs> oh, please don't tell my Fair. mom. I'm sorry. Okay. Is it fine that he has my feather? Oh, I forgot about that. It's fine. We'll figure it out. So it's it's fine, right? He's not yeah. that bad, and and, yep. and he gave you a um, sword and he made you a queen, so that's gotta yeah. be a good thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By me saying it's not that bad doesn't mean that he's not a bad person. It just means that the situation will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. But it's okay. So nice. This is just a situation you can learn from, okay, Delphi? <laughs> Don't help people. Um, maybe get more info before helping people? Question mark. I can't give you any advice. I gave a knife to a child about an hour before all this went down. So yeah, like, but... <laughs> <laughs> let's not tell my mom that either. I don't think okay, she'll be happy. Like just in terms of scale here, I feel like giving a knife to a kid versus like uh, giving your soul to a devil. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just, there's that a range was cool. there. We all He's make cool. mistakes. <laughs> Um, well, I think at this point, maybe Levictus gave the knife to the child and was like, here's Ilvana, here's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, didn't, he didn't hurt you, right? Hurt me? No. Yet. That's, we'll see. Well, that's good. He just randomly makes people queens? Can I? I'm can I, pretty sure this I, is like... I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't think it was random. Um... At this yeah. point, 
that Zilvana hears the sound of a winter wind blowing across the tundra and it drowns out the rest of the group and she can see their lips moving, but she cannot hear them. Zilvana, secret secrets. Do we all have to keep our lips moving during this to- Oh, absolutely, yes, yeah, yeah, please keep. <laughs> secret, secret. She's got a secret. <laughs> she is the frozen dame. Secret, secret, she's got a secret. Okay, I'm fine. And it's at this moment, you hear that very familiar voice in the back of your head. Well done, Silvana Orun. You have made me proud. The task set before you is one, I think, of a mutual agreement, as you yourself and your party don't wish to see the Durgar Scourge claim any more lives in the Dale, and I myself would see them driven out. I would ask that you travel to Bremen, using, of course, the teleportation circle here in the castle to get you there. There are creatures that are under the will of the Frost Maiden. I would see that will broken or those creatures destroyed. And you will be my weapon in this. And of course, with this comes being a hero of the Dale, which I'm sure any bard would be glad to sing about. Indeed. Good. Good. May I ask a question? You may. What are these creatures? How will we identify them? You will know them by their intellect. Okay. Rest assured, they will find you. All right. Do not fail me in this, my champion. <laughs> and then all again, right. winter howling. <sighs> and then all of a sudden your friends are talking again. And they're just like. <sighs> and so as this winter howling just. <sighs> And it comes right back and the conversation picks right up as if you had never dropped out of it. <laughs> and you're sitting there going, you're, uh, you're muted, Flynn. <laughs> you're still muted. So the key is you want to get the notch right in the suspender, right? And then uh -huh. you pull back and then whomp. Is that even Dude, possible? Dude, I need those. Well, possible. Yeah, yeah. You got to get the tension real tight, though. Guys, you got to get uh, those suspenders way up in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pull your pants up to like up here. Wouldn't that be weird? No, no, well, no, because you get it tight down here and then you just pull up from here and then you get it locked in. And then like once it's all, it, it's, it'll work. It can work. I can show you later. I have our next mission. Huh? Oh. Great. Okay. All right. We have to go to Brennan. Who's that? It's a place. Where's that? <laughs> Who's that? Where's that? <laughs> have, have we ever heard um, of this place before? Do you? So <clears throat> those of you who are familiar with, uh, Icewind Dale and the 10 towns. Uh, how many, you've been here for more than a year? Put your hand up. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay, all right, that's right. So the three of you would then know uh, that Bremen is one of the 10 towns. In fact, it's one of the towns located on the far north side of Icewind Dale. Cool, 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 cool. Are we gonna get like fast teleport there? Like we've been shunted around the map recently or? Yep, we're able to use the teleportation oh, that's in the in the yeah, palace. Yes, should you require a a, a, a one-way transport, the, the the circle should be able to get you there. Uh, oh, unfortunately, oh. my stomach has not recovered from the last time. <sighs> Can we sedate him before we go? Uh, make choice. a mixture of herbs or, or perhaps some tea, if you please. Yes. Uh, I could knock him unconscious. Oh, please don't. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna have to figure out how to bring Theriel with us. Oh, oh I, yes. I we, we here at the castle will watch her and 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 in case uh, she is awoken before the the great lord deems it necessary. Uh, rest assured, we, we can inform her of your travels. 
and send her along after. But and like take it with us, put on a cart or something. I would not recommend moving someone in such a, a perilous position. Should the ice be attacked or, or broken, it would split her as well. I look Thub right in the eye and say, I guess I will have to trust you because you are under my command now. Absolutely, oh mighty champion of Levictus, we will follow your every word to wipe out the Durgar scourge from the ice wind dale. All right, and we have a deal. Yes. Well, if I, anything I'm, happens to I'm her- I'm gonna send a message while this is going on to Flynn and say, we have our own fanatics now? Yeah, I, I, I guess so. I mean, I, I don't, I'm- for those of you keeping track along keep at it home, up. having minions is just one step away from super villainry. <laughs> <laughs> the more you slippery know. slope. <laughs> oh, speaking of minions. <laughs> yeah, I love, your, I love the, uh, the Arctic full cat that keeps prowling uh, Pike's uh, okay. screen there. It's, nice. it's all right. Yeah. I may or may not go full Khaleesi. It's cool. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> can uh... Um, can, can we can we have a nap and and a, and a hot meal and and recover oh, a little bit or? Uh, oh, of course, of course. The the. Oh, sorry, the, Thub. I was talking to the boss. <laughs> I think that would be best. I as you please, to... as as you please. Yeah, I'll give him. A, I'll give him a wink when I say that. Uh, <laughs> Salvana, do you think that maybe? Maybe since you're in charge now, you could uh, maybe make them have lavender tea. <laughs> <laughs> you cut uh, my milk. <laughs> so <laughs> milk is <a> liquid. <laughs> Freeze it, then cut it. <laughs> uh, I asked Thub, is there any lavender tea at all in this cur? Care. I don't care. Uh, so <laughs> I, I suppose I could check the cellars. Uh, uh, yes, please. As you please. And, and he uh, he he will exit uh, past and. Hey, Sylvana, can I ask you a favor with your new found cult powers? Oh, oh this yeah. is going to be a thing now. Okay, what? No, no, no. <laughs> this is. <laughs> can I have a puppy? Huh? Delphi, roll me a perception check. Oh, um, perception check. I don't know if I want to. I don't like it when you do that. Mm. You okay? You okay? Why is everybody so nervous? He puts one person in a death match. <laughs> Should I use well, my inspiration? The the nerves have actually no, transferred from that to the one person that survived is now like fully bought in with the devil, and it's like, ooh. I got it in a laugh. Look. Uh, like we're very quickly heading. Like we're gonna go right to Avernus. Just <laughs> <laughs> good, because I'm ready to fuck up conscript group fourteen. There it yeah. is. Say, bring it. All right. So uh, with an eleven, y- you hear behind you uh, as you see Thub sort of walking past you, uh, uh, the sound of a stone slab being moved aside, um, and you didn't really notice that that was there in the teleport room before, but huh, seemed neat. Do we need to do anything about our mercenary friends? See, that's, do we, do that we not would... care about what, where they go or what they do? Have they? Are, can they split already? Is my is my part one is my two part question. Uh, I don't see them around anymore. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <clears throat> uh, I believe I. How much time has passed? Am I still detecting thoughts? Can I? Can I hear them? Uh, so it, it would have been. An, how long do you, does your detect thoughts last, Professor? Um, I believe I made a note before. I had seven rounds remaining yeah. when we started tonight. Okay. So how many rounds were we gone in the arena? Ooh, that was three rounds in the arena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I got a I got a few seconds of detect thoughts remaining. I mean, uh, you so how, and how? What's the distance on detect thoughts? Oh my goodness! Why you ask me these questions? <laughs> <laughs> why, am, why am I supposed to know what the hell my spells do? That's your job. All right. Uh, thirty feet. And thirty. So feet. Okay. Well, I within, popped in from here. You popped so in from there. However, you well. So within that, damn it! I keep, I keep clicking on you. To my friends. All right. So let's see here. Within that 30-foot range, 
Uh, you do not hear any sounds. Okay. Of the mercenaries. Well. Uh, you do hear the sounds of Mare, who was the tiefling servant girl in the main hall, saying, oh, I'm really glad those mercenaries just left. They seem to be packing up inside the courtyard. Um, <clears throat> right. That's that's all you get. And then, of course, uh, the other cultists, and then from the opposite direction, you hear the cultists sort of softly chanting as they maintain the magic circle in the other room. All right. Let's stop seem- paying attention to all that. That gets annoying. <laughs> uh, uh so yes, the uh, the mercenaries, Flynn, I believe, are on their way out. If we Ooh. wish to do anything about them, now might be our chance. But if we're uh, content to let them go... I mean, I, I'm content to let them go as long as they're not after us anymore. But they also sell, they sell goods, right? I... You should ask them. I shouldn't D- ask them. You D- should. DM, ask what, them. Who, who, what was the name of the one who seemed to be newly in charge? I don't have that anywhere. That's all right. Uh, that was Azar. 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 Uh, well, let's let's go see if uh, let me just squeeze past by here. Very out. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, and I'll come and I'll I'll come into the cafeteria here and and say hello to to Mayor. Hello. Hello. Um, our, our friends that were in here a little while ago that <laughs> when all the trouble happened, uh, where have they gone? They're uh, getting their sleds ready out, out in the main courtyard. They, uh, after you left, they seem to pack up the dead. And then she points to uh, sort of the, there's a blood spatter on the floor that she was cleaning up as you walked in. I, um, I've been cleaning up, so, uh, but they're just out in the courtyard. Uh, if you wish to talk to them. Uh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And I will uh, message that, what, what she just said to the professor. Uh, and then is this the, the doorway, DM? That is, that is indeed. That is the double door. That leads out into the courtyard. Uh, then I will... Come to here, so I have uh, I've sheathed my sword. Oh, brilliant! And, and I will I'll open the door, and I will. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Give me his the name Azar. Azar. I'll just send back to Xander that I'm on my way. Um. I uh, I'll open the door, and uh, do they notice me when I open the door? Uh, uh, Azar looks up and sees the door kind of open, but he like everyone else is very busy, sort of lashing up. Uh, the supplies and, and getting the like getting the dogs attached to the sleds. They look like they're just getting ready to get the hell out. As with a new changeover in management, they're not looking to ask a lot of questions. For sure, for sure. Um, hey, Hale, uh, Azar, is it? Uh, upon that, like, as as so, I, I'm of, fully. I, I am. I'm. I'm no weapons drawn. Like my hand in the air, waving, kind of like. Yeah, you see. You see the one, uh, the, the female in the party, Vane, who had held the longbow on you earlier. She has her bow in her hand, and she looks. Uh, you saw her speed with it last time. For sure. So she's she's kind of eyeballing you a little bit, but Azara's like, I, I'm I am absolutely making no threatening or or janky moves. I'm standing in the doorway, hand up, it. like hello. Hey. Hell. Uh, you uh. You're, you you have things to sell, uh, yes. It, it, I know you. Looks like you're looking to leave. Uh, it, is can we by chance look through your uh, your bill of your bill of goods momentarily, or, or do you do you need to get down the road? He looks at Vane and uh, the other two. A customer, and then almost immediately, uh, they like fodder and hell like start to sort of pull their slice to the side. And as they pull the slice to the side, there is this almost sort of like, like latch string contraption that sort of immediately like pops a little tent up over the side. (laughs) And it allows this to sort of create this canopy wherein the sled becomes like the stall from one side. And then the goods themselves are then able to be rolled out and father's like, Oh, good. I haven't sold anything all day. And so he, mm-hmm. so they immediately start going into a flurry. So it's like, if you've got 
coin or other goods? Uh, we have we have some, but I mean, we all we seem to find in every town is you know some flour and a rusty dagger and things like that. So if you have something better, I mean, maybe we have enough to to get something. It's just nice to see something new. Indeed, uh, indeed, uh, we have procured quite an arrangement of items. Uh, some mundane, some not so. But uh, you're more than welcome to peruse the wares, provided, of course, again, that you have the money to spend. Of course and we welcome do. to Azars. <laughs> he sort of locks uh, eyes with you on that moment, and you're like, I like it. It sounds And then, uh, and then you, see, yep. you see Vane sort of like bumping with the elbow. <clears throat> Azars Bazaar. <laughs> it's got a good ring to it. I really, I, I do like it. The so, professor, the professor Bain, chuckles. Bain goes, yeah. my idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so as long as they're cool with us approaching, I'd love to go uh, up and have they, like a little mini, look a little mini open. shopping episode. Yeah, so, and now, friends, we've gone from death to shopping. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> All right, what do so, they have? Uh, Azar's Bazaar has uh, any, so there, there are any number of the, the mundane items that you would find uh, inside uh, and uh, inside any one of the shopkeeps in town. Uh, to go over that more specifically, I'll see here. Uh, anyone looking for uh, cut wood, flint, tinder, flasks of whale oil, blankets, furs, rations, bottles of wine, casts of cheap ale, uh, medicines, vials of poison, primarily used for killing vermin, Azar swears. Mm, mm. Uh, and then there seems to be one of the other sleds put off to the side uh less of course, less money do you have any lanterns yes we do have lanterns less mundane stuff in uh that area i'm i'm assuming yes indeed would you be interested of course uh, I, I mean, it, I could, I could always have a quick look, and uh... Santa, what do you mean? Of course, we're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Move aside. Uh, All right. I'm, I'm playing coy. Why would he be a fish? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I'm playing trout. I'm playing the bass. <laughs> <Good God. laughs> what, what have I done? What is happening? <laughs> well, it was a fine beginning. All right, so, um, all right. So as you move over uh, to the third sled, uh, there are a few items which uh, Azar pulls out. One of them appears to be a very simple leather belt buckle. Hmm. Well, well made. Uh... Not, oh, in, yes. the mon not in the only mundane stuff, though? Oh, only quality wares among Azar's Bazaar. Uh, this would be uh, a belt buckle that would be designed to sort of aid anyone looking to get in to a, uh, say, for instance, you locked yourself out of the house, which can happen Happens. to anyone. Absolutely. This item would be able to aid you in that uh and you are looking at uh the belt of the rogue this uh allows you this is a belt buckle that has a hidden lock pick on it which gives you a plus three to any lock picking if only we knew any rogues yeah i mean let's, let's let's be fair and we can shit talk while she's not here but she has made exactly one lock picking roll yep <laughs> um two well, she's made two or three and failed them extravagantly. Well, <laughs> now that's up. So she, she failed. She failed the first one extravagantly. The second one she actually made with a plum, which she was quite shocked at. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> her way of getting into the locked things is to just smash it. Which but, works. So, which works. So there's a belt buckle of the rogue, uh, which Azara tells you is 50 gold. Mm -hmm. uh, then he goes ahead and shows a very simple black almost uh rough slate rock that has these red veins through it uh before i ask about that does it at all look like the chardolin 
No, we it does not. It, uh, okay. This looks uh, to any one of you who have to do weapon care. It looks exactly like a whetstone, but the red veins uh, seem to give it uh, an otherworldly appearance. He uh, he he tosses it. Who's who's by the bazaar? By the way, is everyone just just. Sort of- so far, just the two of us. I am on yeah. the other side of the door because I'm not taking that chance of them like remembering <laughs> that I cost money. <laughs> dig it, dig it. So he uh, he'll he'll toss it to you, Professor. And wow, go ahead and roll a perception check. Good, excellent. Thirteen. Thirteen. Lovely. Uh, it's warm to the touch. But it, it seems like it, it, it looks like, like an okay. ordinary sh- whetstone. It looks like a, just an ordinary whetstone. Uh, Aye, doesn't it? What what other properties might it confer? Well, that there is a specialty called a red hot. It'll give oh your uh, give your weapons just a little bit more kick, especially out here among the cold. Uh, it's wonderful for uh, fending off trolls and the like, as they don't tend to like fire. Uh, red hot whetstone will go ahead and give one d4 fire damage to one weapon if you use an action, uh, and uh, so and it can be used to uh, before the battle, and it will last, I believe, a minute. Right. That and wh- that is. What does that run for? Yeah. Uh, that'll be 200 gold. Okay. Hard to find these items. Uh, it, that still seems very reasonable for that. Um, yeah. well, what can I say? We're, uh, running a bit of a sale. Uh, what with the management turnover, we're doing all right for ourselves. Any, uh, any other, uh, specialties you got there? Uh, there's a, a decent quiver here, and th- there is indeed a, a quality quiver. Uh, this quiver holds uh, 60 arrows as opposed to the normal 30. Mm. Um, and then uh, there, Professor, you see that there's a crystal pendant, and it uh, looks like there's also a scimitar with the words Trevor written on it. Who's Trevor? Well, it's the scimitar. The scimitar's name is Trevor. I don't name the scimitars. I just sell them. Right. Does Trevor have any special properties? Any Anything of note? He's a cut above the rest. <laughs> I will force a laugh at that. Ah, all right. right. <laughs> Another audible laugh on the other side of the door. <laughs> Your friend over there looks familiar. We know him? No, I don't think so. Door's closed. You can't see him. Oh, door's closed. Oh, okay. I thought thought it popped out a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. (laughs) Oh, okay. I got it. He's like, ah, see? Always love someone who appreciates a good joke. Um, CS, this. and what is what is Trevor's going rate right here? No, Trevor. Trevor, that's five hundred. Five hundred. That's a bit steep. Well, he's a bit special, that Trevor. Why do you why do you call him Trevor? That's his name. Well, who told you his name? It's right there on the sword. It's called Trevor. I uh, he's got Professor. It actually does just say Trevor right there. Uh, what else would you call it? What's this pendant thing? Oh, the uh, pendant. Uh, those are useful for fishermen. Glow underwater. It's just a glowing pendant. Underwater. What does it do when it's not underwater? It's just a pendant. Actually, it depends upon what you want. There it, there it is. Mm-hmm. There, I knew you were gonna. <laughs> just wait, just waiting for it. Just like there drawing it, it, it out of him. And right. the spiritual hammer drops. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, great. I say, Chael's going to put the shit tickets up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've had enough of this shit, Chael. All right, let's bring in that ST background. There it is. All right, so friends, uh, remaining to purchase, if you wish, 
I believe you've already bought the belt and the red hot. We haven't specifically uh, bought anything okay, yet. Yeah, prob- we, prob- yet. we probably are going to, but we have not specifically uh, traded any any goods yet. Yeah. yeah. You also notice that there are like a series of tabards uh, from the sundry towns. Um, they seem to be uh, guard tabards from the various ten towns. Uh, if I'm looking over those, are they like suspicious, <laughs> like suspicious holes in those tabards anywhere? They seem any, to be any odd stains. They seem to be mended, and uh, any odd stains don't seem to be too uh, horrific. Uh, it seems like someone had laundered and uh, and and uh, cared for right. them before putting them back up for sale. Yes. But you being you and knowing what you know. You know, would are, are so are any of them from from Brennan? Why yes, Brennan? there are indeed a, a, a pair of guards uniforms from Bremen. It could I be mean, useful. we get into enough trouble on our own, but sometimes it's nice to have an extra tabard or two. Um, what would what would say these two? And I and I I, I motion toward the two from Bremen. Brennan. Brennan? Bremen. 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 With it, with it, yeah. Bremen. Bremen. With Bremen. M. Bremen Town musicians were the Bremen Town. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what, what might a, a couple of, of these run? Well, well, those, as you may imagine, are, are rather uh, difficult to come by, what with the, uh, the, the, the knack they have for being on guards backs so uh these go for a hundred a piece and there's two of them there are two available for Bremen. <laughs> you guys imagine like get a little like costume rack of like all right where are we going <laughs> yeah who are we trying to rob all right yeah I, I mean i've already gone through that in my head and it's like okay we don't need that um can uh I definitely think we're taking at least a couple of these. Can we can we just have a minute to kind of party chat to uh, No, of course, of course. Go ahead and uh, we uh, we won't pull out until you're uh, until But you if we take here. if we take the uniforms, we won't have enough for Trevor. <sighs> we we got to uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's let's have a party talk about it. All right, uh, all right. All right. All right and, don't uh, worry. Trevor will be waiting for you. So then the the professor and I will pull back into the the keep to uh to talk to the others. I mean with All the right. with the gems that we have, I think we actually could just take the whole lot. Um how much was the quiver? I didn't write that down. Uh, I don't think we asked. Yeah, so that that quiver I'll poke my head out the door. How much is that quiver? 200 <laughs> 200? Yeah. So two hundred for the tabards, two hundred for the quivers, four hundred. Trevor would make nine hundred. Yeah. The red hot would make eleven hundred, and the buckle, the belt would make eleven fifty. And yeah. the gems that we got uh, for the siege of East Haven, each gem is worth five hundred gold pieces, and we have six of them. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if he can make change though. <laughs> Um, if do, they're, do, do if they're we, half as, as grave I robbery have, as they seem to be, I think he can make change. I have a 100 gold amethyst and I've got a bloodstone that I've picked up somewhere in my personal inventory. Mm. Um, five, six, seven, so that's 11, eight, that's 150 there. We could, we could get everything but the quiver and the pendant and we're like right at a thousand, which would just be two of those big gems. Yeah, I, I don't know that we have run into a situation where anyone has run out of arrows in their quiver. That's true. Mm, That's true. No, but, it but it'd be nice not to worry about it. I'm sorry. What were you going to say, DM? That's a, it is a quality quiver. I'm guessing it has more than just the 60 arrow quantity. It's a quality quiver. <laughs> um, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> mm. Yes. How much was the pendant that glows underwater? Uh, the pendants were a hundred each. Oh, there's more than one of them. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the pen. I mean, I can't see us needing the pendant, but of course, as soon as we decide we don't need it, we're we're gonna need it. So we can get the buckle, the red hot Trevor, the quiver, two guards tabards, and the pendant for twelve fifty. Sound like an okay haul? Do we have anything to trade? Well, we have all the shit that was in Herrick's pack. Um, most do of which we, need, we probably want to keep. Do we need a chef's knife? Do any of us cook? Well, remember that's a magic chef's so, knife, though. Uh, well, not only yes, is it a magic it, chef knife, but it's also currently frozen on Fariel. So that would be... Oh, I forgot she had it. I thought yep, Delphi had it. Yep. Mm. I have two regular ass axes that I don't think I'm going to get much use out of, but like, <laughs> they're not going to cost much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yes, please get rid of the freaking hunting trap. That would be great. I will. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. no I have, you gotta much, keep those. How much for this miraculous hunting trap? I was actually hoping that Zalvana had the trap on her and that she was going to throw that down for Kazoff. And that's Kazoff. what she's fucking through as the last one. <laughs> that would have been oh, amazing. Oh, my God. I did not have that trap. For those of you who haven't played a lie at home, they have used a stupid hunting trap <laughs> on the... Almost in almost every major battle or moment of conflict, and, and it's it, worth its sure weight shit, in gold. It has it has it has held its own and literally held one of my own for several rounds of combat, much to my ire and frustration. So, I, not that I want to meta through chat, but what if we were to trade the Frostbrand blade for all of this? Would would he then be tethered to Levistus? Oh, that's not how that works. Or, or would it just like <laughs> zoom back into her hand? It is. It is it's so, yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't give that away. Hey, you know what? I just, I had to check if it no, was no, that no, easy no, to get, get out of it. I'm at. No, um, she wouldn't give that up. It's her precious now. Oh, good Lord. Oh, okay. great. <laughs> so we're going to have to kill our own party members. No. Why Amazing. do you want to kill me? Why is it that's, zero to 100? That's, that's ridiculous. Just Standard. serve her. And then you'll be fine. Everybody's yeah, who gives a shit you that about costs alignment? Extra. <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit about alignment? Just throw it out the window. Uh, all right. So, do we want to get all this for twelve fifty? Do we want to try to trade them back anything? Um, I I, I say get it. Some about um, rescue swords are a lot better oh, than going to sword mills and getting them. <laughs> Holy! At least ten Trevor. Uh, uh, when when he says that, I'm just I'm walking back out the door and back over to Azar's Bazaar. Excellent. Mm -hmm. like, oh. So I think that my math is right here. I think we'll do the um, the belt. We'll do the red hot. Mm -hmm. We'll do Trevor. Excellent. We'll do the quiver. Mm. We'll do two of the Bremen tabards. I knew it. And one of the pendants. Well, it just is we like the artwork on them. No, of uh, course. And also they're very comfy. And it's nice to sort of support your favorite town. You absolutely. Know, that, that's sort of cute. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh and then one of the pendants. And I think that that's twelve fifty. Uh, sounds right to me. Let me go ahead and uh uh fodder actually crushes the numbers here. Fodder. Yeah, 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 it's good. <laughs> um, oh, can you are. can you make change? And I'll, I'll I assume that we will have moved gems and stuff around betwixt us, and I'll produce three of the <sighs> five hundred gold piece gems. Well, then that will be just lovely. Uh, can absolutely get the change for that for you. Um, just have to, have to take a little swing through Termaland to get those gems processed. I imagine you yourselves have stopped through. Oh, well, we, it's 1250, you said? Yeah. It, I mean, do we, wait, do we have 250, 250 on us that we could just do two gems and 250? Uh, we might. I can talk, I can put in for that, yeah. I've got, I've got an amethyst and a bloodstone worth 150. And so if we can come up with another hundred. 100 between the rest of us. I have a bloodstone. We have is to that... come and talk to me about it, though. 
since I'm nowhere near you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we would have talked to you. I mean, about yeah. everything because because that was a party chat. So yeah, that was I a party would, chat uh, yeah. that we had. I was expecting Zalvana and and Delphina uh, Delphina to be involved in the what are we buying? Well, yes. I, I I can't go out there because you know I was one of the people they were. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. For we sure. Came yeah, back we inside. came we came back <laughs> into the keep to have a Got party it. chat. Oh, I can go out sorry. and have a disguise. I guess I, guess I am a. Can you can't recognize me if I do this. Now, I guess. We didn't move our little tokens around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess I'm out. Lazy. With Roger is now. Not token moving masters. I, I didn't I know. know, man. Um, uh, so can we come yeah. up with? So how much? How much is that bloodstone worth then? Is that fifty or a hundred? I believe so. I think the bloodstones were fifty. Yeah. So then we need fifty more. Fifty more gold. I, I could just give you fifty gold. Okay, yeah. then 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 I'll pay them in exact change. And <laughs> so I'll remove <laughs> my. I'm removing my amethyst and my bloodstone. And then which of the big gems are we getting rid of? We had two amethyst, two emeralds, and two rubies. Uh, I don't know I mean, that it matters, but I don't think it does. So yeah. we'll do an amethyst and an emerald, and we'll hold on to two rubies. Okay. Ah, damn you, Amy, making me take notes. <laughs> I've got I've got all the the like party treasure. Oh, bits. that's right. You're doing all of that. Gotcha. It's just none yeah. of us can see it. That's right. All right, excellent. Yeah. So, yep. <laughs> with all of that skull duggery done. Oh, is there a thing in the in the roll twenty for party party? I uh, feel like the, someone made a party treasure document. I believe you're correct, but I I did them. I did that in candles. But it, DM, if you just make a um, a, a sheet for us, a um, in the journal, and make it editable mm. by all of us, then he can actually we can all do running tab stuff on it. That sounds okay. fantastic. All right, so I think at this point we're gonna go ahead and take our break. Yeah, shopping episode. Shopping. Ah, surprise you all. <laughs> non player death and shopping. Murder and shopping. So the party finds themselves fully equipped and still fully manned. Yay! As they move into fully what person. appears. Thank oh, you. hey, uh, I also need I like to buy. It. Sorry, uh, I need to buy that lantern. Ah, yeah, of course, of course. And then, like, uh, can I get a bullseye lantern and a few things of oil? He looks at you and he's like. You really know your lanterns. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Um, what do those cost? Are we doing standard equipment prices on those? Standard equipment have... prices on that. Okay, so. Okay, okay. I mean, we just bought a bunch of shit. He's not going to give it to us for free. Mm -mm -mm. Throw in the oil for free. <laughs> no. But... Yeah, fair. Uh, you know, business got a business, you know. All right. yeah. If we run into them again, I have a bad idea. <laughs> God. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, no. I have an idea. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, anything further you wish to purchase, party members? No, I think that it'll just be oh, several wait. several rounds of detect magic casted ritually. <laughs> so, fully equipped and fully personed, uh, the party goes ahead and moves into their newest employ. Which is as the leader of the Knights of the Black Sword. Hello and welcome back to Cold Hard Witch, our Rhyme of the Frost Maiden playthrough. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the F and DM, and this is the second half. So uh, our party has had quite of a whirlwind uh, game. We've had a, a one on one death match wherein Zelvana came out victorious and is now the leader of the Knights of the Black Sword. Mm, terrifyingly enough, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, and then they went ahead and got uh, a few bits and bobs from Azar's Bazaar, the uh, under new management uh, <laughs> traveling salesman here in the Dale. Uh, they have since departed the care, and now the party finds themselves back in the main hall of the hold with a task set before them. They have to then travel now to Bremen uh, to seek out creatures under the sway of Oriel, the Frost Maiden, or maybe explore the care a little deeper to see if there's anything else that lies beneath. Uh, party members, what do you do? 
Well, I think we want to look at these new items. And uh, Professor, do you have identify? Can you ritual cast that or no? I uh, no, not yet. Okay. So then I plan I, to learn that one from you soon. Okay. I will, um, as we kind of sit and talk. It, well, first, I guess the first question is, is the mess hall the place we want to do all this? Or now that we have a much higher standing here, are there different quarters and preparation rooms, bedrooms for us? Or are we back in the smelly just... guard bunk tower? Zalvana, do you have access to Kadrath's chamber? I mean, I think we have access to Kadrath's chamber, Professor. Because <laughs> we, we we went in I, there. I mean, yeah, we've been there, but like... <laughs> I mean, I would think so. Um, I didn't really ask, but we can pretend like we... You know, no, we're, you're we're, in we're, charge. We're, There's no pretending. Through. <laughs> Let's, is this a is this an ask for forgiveness rather than permission situation? No, no, we can take care of this. Hey, I think so. <laughs> what? Is he busy casting you, a teleportation? You hear the though? unmistakable sound of like shoes scrabbling across the stone <laughs> as he like comes uh, bursting in from the room uh, off of the uh, uh, the 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 speaker's chambers. Uh, yes, as, as you please. Yeah, what can't she do? <laughs> Nothing. Gotcha. Jeez. Graced by the powers of by the, the powers of the dark, she dark ones. Uh-huh. will be the one cool, 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 cool. who saves us from, us from the Jurgar Surge and yeah, allows yeah, gotcha. us to free Icewind Dale from their clutches. Yeah, pre- yeah, yeah. Pre- pre- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let, less is more, buddy. As you please. All right, thank you. See yourself out. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, where, where, where is, where is, are her new quarters? Thub. Thub. <laughs> and I'll, I'll send. I'll send, I'll send him. I'll send him a message. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're like we're so not like, quite done here yet. So he like backs out and then pops his head back in. He's like, ah, she just upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> you require anything further? Uh, so where are our quarters? Are they near her so we can protect her? Uh, the speaker's quarters would be uh, uh, across the way, uh, and then across from hers would be the the quarters of uh, the old seer. But she has since gone to her great dark devotion. Yeah, she's not around anymore. As you Professor, please, I think that's you're the new, you're the new seer oh, now. Oh, uh, Thub, <laughs> get with this. Zavana, any, you could name any, me seer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Any any word on um. Uh, the lavender tea. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to look. It's okay. As you please. Thank you. <laughs> so, party members. <laughs> I mean, there, there were so many things I wanted to ask as like... This joke has to end. I just have to keep my mouth shut. No, baby, no. We've got we've got an hour left. Look, if you thought you were pulling in for Rhyme of the Frost, man, no, like, like we got a mission and then just promptly ignored it. Like, yeah. <laughs> like what, what kind of crap can we get up to? You're the harbingers of what we don't. We know don't yet. know yet. The harbingers of Thube. Thube. Right. <laughs> 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 Can uh, we head yeah, so, upstairs? Yeah, so let's head upstairs a little more private. We'll we'll deal with these new items that we have acquired. Uh yes. lead the way, I'll show you to your new chambers, Alvana. <laughs> what how how do you know where what the we were, hell? We, 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 we were here let's last go. night. Now, did you did you kill that old woman? We didn't kill her, she died she of natural had- weird dark god of unnatural natural death yeah <laughs> you know those you know yeah. those ice pillars that are all around she went with one of them oh, wait okay so where are we going upstairs. Up, up here so uh, you zoom out and then uh, yeah, it's so over here the next map the over right. is the second level oh of, jesus yeah. okay yeah got it uh, yeah i like that i like i don't know what he did but i like that rodney was like we're going up here <laughs> <laughs> oh great I see that now. Um, I'm pinging, but you can't see it unless you're already looking at it. Yeah, yeah so. I'm making my way over there. 
And uh, okay, I'm good. There we, there we go. go. There we are. All right, Delphi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're yeah. like passing these cultists, and I'm like walking up here. I'm like, well, at, at the I've, top of the stairs on I'm, your right, we don't know what that door does yet. But yeah, over here, right. you'll find the Cadroth's chambers and uh, the the room of a recently departed old woman. Yeah. As we Rump pass out. cultists ah. on the way, I'm just gonna say under my breath to Flynn, but loud enough to be heard. You'd think that they would bow to their new leader. Oh my god! Uh, no, I, I is, hate it. I hate that so much. <laughs> that is one thing that you distinctly notice. Is like as the rest of you pass in front of them, they do, but then as as Zalvana passes in front of them, they all sort of dip their head in reverence and like won't raise it until she walks past. Z Xander, trust me, you want to be a free agent on this one, right? So if things go south. Like we're not directly responsible for all of this. We were we were just outside hires in on a job. Uh, okay. You're yeah. Okay. I had not thought of it that way. Thank you. <laughs> Flint ne next week. Flynn and Xander get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Making their way the only way they know. <laughs> Making so, my way downtown. Uh, can I ask these cultists? Hey, what's what is through this door to the east? Yes, over there. Where I'm pointing, look where I'm pointing. Over it, there, yes. It's a lot of ask them. It's a lot of they ask both them. look, oh. they both look <laughs> like directly at the, uh, at, at the, uh, the chosen. Ah, uh, um, answer them. That those are the speakers chambers right yes may we see them yes chosen one and so uh weird this fanatic walks down and knocks very distinctly And then from inside, you hear the shape and a haircut. Really, odd choice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is the ancient knock of the Knights of the Dark. <laughs> uh, and then from inside, you hear a very a, resound, a, res a responding, uh, and the door is opened. As the door opens, so is, is everyone sort of trying to make their way around? Yep. Oh yeah. Th things things about to pop off when we uh when we were just going to discuss things we're of course in the middle of that <laughs> yeah right remember friends you still haven't taken a rest <laughs> yeah you know so they is asked... the speaker alive i th was assuming the speaker was gone how dare you? Just because all the other speakers in Icewind Dale managed to die suspiciously uh so on the other side, there is uh, another cultist, and he sort of opens the door, and then it, it, I imagine does he see Zolvana? Are you? So what's? I'm so I'm I'm right in front of the door. So and he he immediately drops his head and says, ah, "Chosen one." Yes. Um, may we see the speaker? Of of course, of course. Uh, and it's I, this I'm going to look over at her when she says that, because, again, I think that we all thought he was dead or gone. <laughs> I, and then uh, how, at do, this point, how does she know the speaker's in there? Someone's got to be in there. And it's at this point. So uh, the cultist, <laughs> Roll for <initiative. laughs> the cultist steps to the side and the go and the golem that was the speaker. So, you know, uh, <laughs> Uh, and and you are currently staring at Speaker Cranach Seaver. Oh, God, Pierce, it's about time you assholes showed up. Well, all right. Watch who you're talking to. Speaker Cranach, give me that name one more time. Seaver, S-I-E-V-E-R. S-I-E-V-E-R? <sighs> yes, S-I-E-V-E-R. All right. Yep. Um, Are you understanding me? What? S I B? That's a strength. That's a strength. No, not S, -S O B. You um, knock it. So, are we done? Am I free? What's going on? Is he dead? He's too dead. <laughs> the, the jackass, the horn. Yeah, I'm going to need you to be more specific. <laughs> what? Uh, you 
Giacomo, whatever the hell your name is. What's the, what's the, the, the former leader's name was Cadroth. Yeah, that one. Cockmouth. <laughs> I like him. Very nice. I like, I, I like him. Look, I've been stuck in this <clears throat> piss pot of a room for the past two weeks while this cockmouth has been just running the place. And I'm a, I'm a little sick of being summoned to just write things out every now and then when he needs a signature. So I got good news and bad news for you, my dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, Cadroth is dead. Well, that's great news. Cockmouth, as you know him. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I am, however, the new leader. New cockmouth. Don't <laughs> call her that. But, but uh, well, no, because I, I mean, I'm, I'm the speaker here. You, these people came in and they just, I, it's okay. Um, let's get to know each other, shall we? Oh, he, he kind of like eyeballs the group of you and sort of he, like this guy's s- dressed very similar to like, you know, Scrooge McDuck a la like nighttime. He's just got like the, the his sort of sleeping gown on. He ain't got no pants on. Oh, yeah. No, he's Donald, he, he's Donald Duck in it right now. He's just straight up got the Winnie the Pooh. And so. <laughs> Chael, cover your eyes. So yeah. Yeah. May we also, we com- may we we also call in. that Terry Burglaring. There it is. Uh, what, what, yeah. That's a deep cut for those of you, <laughs> for most people. <laughs> so as he's kind of just standing there in like what appears to be a night shirt, he, uh, he's, well, okay. He's not necessarily, you know, deathly ill. He doesn't look great. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, 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 can, uh, may we come in? Uh, <clears throat> and he kind of, like brushes a couple of crumbs and then realizes there may or may not be another stain or two on his shirt. He's like, uh, of course. <clears throat> Come on in. And then. I'm going to sit in a chair backwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to take a look around the room, see if there's anything that looks uh, interesting or. Is that a toilet above odd. the token? Yeah, I was it wondering what, yeah, what that was. Uh, sort of like a chamber little, pot, like a very large chamber pot, <laughs> and Delphi went right into it. The chamber pot, sitting on the chamber pot. Yep, yep. <laughs> when you're so encased in Jill, that one. When you're encased in ice, you have to poop. <laughs> so, I can't hold it any longer. <laughs> so this, so this room uh, is just immaculately furnished. <laughs> like it has all the trappings of, uh, like the height of luxury that you could find in the Dale. It's got a soft bed, warm quilts, elegant tapestries, and a gilded chamber pot in the corner. Being in this room Uh, makes me angry. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep. Uh, It it almost has like the word privilege kind of written across it uh, in big, bold gold letters. Uh, Bars over the windows sort of dispel the the air of luxury somewhat, uh, as does uh, the guard in the corner who, uh, his, his actual name is Yagath, but. <laughs> Yagath. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when you when you go shopping at Hot Topic, Yagath. <laughs> I actually have no idea what that's like, Ryan. You've never been to a Hot Topic? Really? That's good, buddy. That's Look good. at me and ask that question again. I can shop there. Come on. I mean, I've. And none of you look like me. (laughs) I feel like you own enough, like, black t shirts, though, bud, that, like, you could fit in really. No, you'd fit in at a hot topic more than you think, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's an insult or not. I'll have to get back to you. No, absolutely not. All right. So uh, you're sitting there, and he just. He he gets. He he manages to get up from his chamber pot and. Sits himself down and says, so, what do you have to inform me of as the speaker? I was actually more so wondering um, how you are here. How, how You've said you've been here for two weeks. Tell me what Kadroth is, how'd you do? What did he have you sign? <laughs> Anything. The, uh, uh, they had all these decrees saying that uh, Cadroth will be speaking for the people, and uh, that 
uh, that not to be alarmed that the uh, the the brotherhood these jackasses are uh, are going to be the ones uh, around the care and not uh, alarm any suspicion or, or alert anybody and uh, of course all of this was signed off by me and they wound up killing my guards and then uh, I don't I don't know what they did with the rest of my servants they they told me that they were keeping them alive but I um how many servants did you have was there was um. God, it's hard to remember them all. Okay, uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna tell you now. There's only a tiefling downstairs and a boy in a stables. Tiefling? No, no, no. There was um, there are. Uh, there was my assistant Lannis, and then Elkrick. Uh, was my butler. Good man. I, if they killed him, I'll be pissed. It's hard to find a good butler. Well, we. Uh, uh, hey, then uh, let me there. see the bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, my Lamara. Uh, we haven't seen. We haven't seen any anyone else since our time here it was just uh they keep a, a, a unless they're all in the kitchen well, we haven't checked the kitchen i mean we did it we did have a great barbecue dinner that's not even a little funny don't say that i don't mm-mm. i can't handle that right now well no they well they they, they told me that i look the, the only reason why i went along with this whole charade is that they said that they they would they would kill these people if i didn't go along with it that's why now, I'm now is that I'm the only sure. reason or or you just aren't strong enough to not not go along with it oh you think I can't hold my any... it's okay no. it's oh. okay I'm sure they're somewhere we just haven't found them yet how long has uh um Kadroff actually been here has it only been the two weeks or uh, uh, yeah, about I, I don't at a time so he just got here and took over the place. Well, I, I mean, what was I supposed to look, look at all of them. They're all, there's so many. And I, I, I didn't have that many guards. Plus How did, the whole point of the care is that it's supposed to be a fortified position. And then they came in as envoys saying that they had the, the, the council of the speakers and that they were here to speak. And of course, and you know, politics. The, so I have to go ahead and invite them in and then do the whole shebang. And then turns out I invited them in and they, they shebanged all right. Oh, they're like vampires. Got it. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you might be the last living speaker in ten towns. Everywhere else we've been, the speakers have all been murdered. Yeah. Or missing. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. That's not outside of the possible. Look, being a speaker is not actually a a, a, a long lived. Look, you got to get kind of ruthless. I mean, it's the Dale for. Christ's sake. So you can't just like, you know. Until this moment, we also assumed you were dead. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, you can inform the people. Rumors of my death have been gravely exaggerated. I plea, I don't oh, believe you God. have <gasps> any people remaining. What? No, they, I'm telling you, they're here. Yak mouth, tell them. You, you swore that my people would, and he points to the guard and he looks at, and like, this guy is just. He's clearly the one. I don't know if it was a punishment or if Kadroth just hated this dude, but he has given him like speaker babysitting duty for like the past week. And can I can I cast friends on this on the guard in this room? I just talk to him. Yeah, it's called hello. <laughs> hello. Now I'm gonna cast friends. My name on is him. Elder. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, before it you burn, before you, he does not have before you burn, burn that spell slot. It's a cantrip. <laughs> okay. What do I care? <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to. Oh, no, all right, all right. No, I, I want to see the professor <laughs> cast friends. I'm and casting friends on the guard in this room. Friends. I love it. Cultists in this room. All right. What is that? Uh, uh, all it really does is give me. But there's a there's a save against it, right? Unless he's a. Uh, no, really? there's no save. No save. Let me just post this. Pop this into the chat. You saucy minx. Let me just post this. Let me just let me pop this into. Let me let me just whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, concentration up to one minute. Yeah, it Chase just gives me advantage on all charisma checks because he's then, not hostile. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And right. then once it ends, then he becomes hostile. But yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. What so yeah, I'm gonna look at this the, this cultist and say like, clearly the speaker has been through enough. Tell him the truth. Mm. 
your people are being held in the lower dungeon. All five of them are still alive. Wait, you couldn't remember that you had five servants? What? It's this many. One, two, three, four, five. Look, One, it's two, three, been four, two five. weeks, and there's like the butler and his wife. I can never remember her name. I'm going to send a message gonna to Zalvana. I'm going to slap you. What, what, under the cover of Flynn slapping him, I'm going to send a <laughs> message gonna, to Zalvana I'm the and say... Speaker. You can't just attack me. I, I speak for the people of Caradine of all, all right? I'm, I'm very... You, hey, hey, y'all, hey, may I, may I? <laughs> I I'm saying, I'm asking y'all. I'm asking my group, my party. Oh Can yeah, I? yeah, yeah. Hit him. Uh, I'm gonna send a message to Zalvana and say, <laughs> do you want me to just kill this guy? <laughs> no. If he's still alive. He must have a purpose. He still need uh, a speaker. Yeah, oh, talking, yeah. You're talking. You're talking to Zalvana. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a message uh, to her. That yeah, was a message. And that, DM. And roll that, that roll was, that unarmed strike there. Uh, was that a D4? Um, no, that's just, just four. No, just ro ro roll the D20. I want to see that. So, do we have anything else we want to ask him, um, Hardy? Please about? tell me it's a 20. Please tell me it's a 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> so, is he so frail that he dies from that slap? Like, no. What's going on? So, no, he's not. So, like, in that he is still full of piss and vinegar, well, less <laughs> piss now, but still piss and vinegar. Uh, he is like, he's, he doesn't look great. He looks like a, he looks like a piece of shit because he is a piece of shit, but uh, he is, but he isn't like on death's door. And okay. but with this, with this slap, this like, what did the five fingers say to the face? Like it's just, <laughs> you come across with like a thunderous crack and it look like it kind of lodges a molar loose a little bit because let's be honest his diet wasn't that great to begin with i dropped palm first that's why i can knock oh absolutely yeah <laughs> no he he spits tooth and you just see some of that glorious dental go ting tinging across the floor and, oh <coughs> i'm a speaker oh. um question to the dm so <laughs> um so the the speaker, like the besides the five people that he has as butlers in in the care, like do people actually know him or care about him? Like, do, will anyone care if he dies? So he is the official for the town. Like, okay. it, this would be akin to like killing the mayor, you know? Like, uh, so now, well, are there are there other people? We've only gonna, seen cultists. I'm gonna get into like an an an, an, an big. Well, now remember, you were immediately. Boop, into the care. the care. Yeah, is okay. there like a town surrounding the care? Yeah, okay. okay. Like, oh. how, like, how many people, how many like townsfolk live yeah. in this place? You want like, you want like that in a nutshell? Is that what you're? Yeah, what's it? Yeah, give me the, the, the brief okay, population so the, density of The population <laughs> of Care Dineval is about 100 people. It's not okay. A huge okay. town. Uh, yeah. They they muster up a, a, like maybe twenty five soldiers for the defense of Icewind Dale. Mm -hmm. um, this place is mostly known for the keep, in that it is like one of the stronger fortifications in the Dale. But mm -hmm. the, the town around it, like, is uh, scant, few, and far between. There, uh, anyone who so you would know of. Well, actually, you wouldn't know of that. Okay, so then never mind. Uh, yeah, so there, like, there's, uh, there's like a couple of town, like a couple of houses, like homes, and then like with every town, there is at least one tavern, maybe two, possibly, uh, and an inn, maybe. But again, with a hundred people in the town, it, it's not exactly a metropolis. In fact, it's one of the smaller towns in ten towns. Hmm. Okay. So we shouldn't kill him, is what you're saying. No, I don't think we should kill him. I think he should stay here, though. Can I, I pick mean, his tooth up and say, ooh, I'll cast a spell with this and put it in my component uh, match? <laughs> <laughs> so, we, sh we should let, let the, the servants out, though. Yes. Of course, yes! Please, at, at the very least, save my people. They, they look up to me. So... Mm. Oh. Saver, I think maybe you should stay in here, seeing as how the uh, speakers don't tend to live very long outside. Well, no, of course, but I mean, 
You're going to send my butler back to me, right? You'll have butler privileges um, sometimes. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um, and maybe you can walk around the care for about an hour or two a day and then go back to your room. Well, now, wait a minute. You can't. I think I can. But I, I think you should maybe rest a bit. I'm, I'm sure you're very bewildered by all this stuff that has just happened to you. And the, I'm, and and the this party of, you know, we'll 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 go out and discuss how to uh, deal with everything. All right. How dare you? Can't lock me up. I am the speaker. You've of been here. you've been locked up. It won't be any different. Except you'll get more privileges this time. Okay. Is there a ch- is there like a chase in here? Like it's like a like a lounging chair. A oh yeah, yeah. Chase um, sure. Flynn falls back onto it as Ivana goes into full like uh like like <laughs> boss mode and just like. Yeah. Yes. yeah absolutely. Just... Yes. Yes. Oh. Whole whole devil thing aside, this is absolutely working. <laughs> yeah. Right. This this is the Zalvana we have been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> Uh, chosen all right. fun all right so uh he whoa absolutely bl- he's like you can't I, you can't keep me here i'm i'm not a prisoner i'm the speaker of this town I'm, you're of course not a prisoner i just want to keep you safe all right but, but this is really for I your protection this is very much so for your protection thank you Xander. She, zalvana is a great protector we will keep you safe you here. You you free my people from the dungeon, and then you send them back up here to me, and then we, we will, will free the people, and they the will be free people, not your people, the people. Correct. Well, where, where would they, they? They. This is where they work. This is where they live. Where else would? What else would they do? If, if it mean, is their, if it is their choice to serve. We will give them that choice. I think you should rest now. Guys, let's go. I'm going to take that tooth back out of my pouch and I'm going to give it. I didn't catch the guard's name. The the Yagoth. Uh, Yagoth. I'm going to I'm going to give the tooth to Yagoth and say souvenir. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give him like five gold and be like, you're doing the Lord's work here. <laughs> <laughs> Yagoth looks at all of you and just sort of like nods appreciatively. And then he sort of looks at the tooth and says, by the word of the chosen one, keep your mouth shut if you don't want to lose the rest. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to I'm gonna have to remember that as a quip. <laughs> and keep then he, your mouth shut if you don't want to lose the rest. <laughs> and then the speaker kind of closes, backs up a little bit. You, you. Good night. He's trying to, yeah, and as, and, as, and as he's trying to come up with another protest, <laughs> you, you, you are all, I imagine, walking out of the room, and Yagoth is just. <laughs> <laughs> he might kill him. He might kill him. Well, hopefully it'll teach him some manners. He was found killed by his own tooth. We don't know how it happened. <laughs> Just, right in just, the eyeball. Just well, yeah. over well, and over well, and him. over. Oddly enough, a bad tooth. It was gripped <laughs> right into his skull. Yeah, just, yeah. Bad tooth, bad. Bad tooth, bad. All right, so friends, and that's the tooth. The whole tooth. All right. Oh, but the tooth. So help you. So friends, uh, you back out of the speaker's room, and where do you go? All right. Um... We need to go over and and look at the stuff that we bought, which is what we were doing. Yeah. In the show. Yes. Uh, let's is... go. Let's go to Kadroth's old chamber. Yeah. Is that is that the one to the what, left? Yeah, so it's, I'm gonna yeah, ping it. Yeah. So it's the one to the left and south. Uh, beware yeah. of the cat. cat. Yeah. Somebody needs to take care of Touche. I'm just saying. Uh, Touche. Yes. We may have adopted a cat. Touche. Wait. Touche. No. Wait. Like. 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 Take care of it. No, 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 no. Okay, no, okay, no. gotcha, 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 gotcha. I like, I like. You've got to be clear about things. This is Icewind yeah. Dale. <laughs> All right, mm. so you find yourselves in the other speaker's chambers, which 
is not actually the speaker's chambers, but Cadroth's bedchamber. Uh, there's a uh, large gilded mirror that is on most of the east wall, which is yeah. what made Cadroth want this room for himself. The other furnishings include an ornately carved wooden table and chair, uh, and of course, Cadroth's black cat, Touche, is the sole companion. Uh, I'm going to sit at the table and chair with the stuff that we just bought and just rotate through ritual casting identify uh, on everything until I have identified everything. And then I'll let everybody know what the specs are. Excellent. And while he's doing that, I want to detect magic in this room as Brilliant. well. Brilliant. Uh, as you do that, uh, you hear a knock on the door and it's Mare. She's just coming up to check to see if the party was hungry or if they needed anything this is usually about the time that she would check in on cadroth and then also she herself is a fan of touche so she always makes sure that she's fed uh i mean yeah we could take a, a bite of food did you find the lavender lavender tea thub was looking for it yeah, but thub was looking for that also do you want a cat uh Touche? Uh, no, this this touche is. Uh, yeah, I, I will of course bring you food. I. Didn't... You want this room? I'm sorry, that's not for me to say. It's Ivana. Ask me if she wants this room. <laughs> yeah, where 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 are you staying? Are you? Oh, I you... um. There's a, a a servants' quarters downstairs, which I um I rest in. It's, it's nice. It's not. Do you find it accommodating? I mean, there's not many servants. So it's just me and um, and the cook. She's nice. So um, sometimes when the winters get too cold, uh, the, the boy from the the kennels will come in. Of course. Well, feel free to use this room or whatever room you feel is oh. suiting to you. Well, but this is this is your room. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be traveling soon, so we probably won't be here to use it. Well, then I will make sure it is ready for you when you get back. Of course, and feel free to use it appropriately. Of if course, you... chosen one. Uh, can she can she let the other ones out? The other the other servant people. Yeah. Can 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 she let the people out of the dungeon? Well, you're the boss. <laughs> oh, I was just okay. Yeah, like totally. Um, so, do you know where the dungeon is? There's a dungeon? Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I will find someone who knows that, where the dungeon is. Uh, um, I think the servants' quarters might be filling up, so you, you may want to utilize this room. Oh, God, have there been people down there? I believe so. I hope yes. they're still alive and healthy. I hope Kadroth actually took care of them, not and in that, a bad way. Like, like at that, at the mention of that, she like, she like pull like just stifles back a little cry because she knows for a fact Kadroth didn't give a shit about those people. So, All right. well, um, well, maybe maybe why while Xander's uh, figuring out the, uh, um item situation, I should find the the dungeon and of, of release course, no, people. I'll, I'm so sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll go get your food. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. It's okay. And then she, she very like very upset, scurries down the hall. You can maybe hear her just like, oh, God. And then sort of, she gone. I, I kind of feel like Icewind Dale is not the place for her. Um, uh, yeah. Maybe East Haven? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> send, send her to East Haven with a there's note a, that a, says, there's an we'll be back. in Bridge Shander now. <laughs> yeah. yeah <apparently. laughs> Y'all, um, I love it. I love it so much. All um, right. So, uh, identifying? Yes. All right. Yes. Lovely. Can right. actually, while, while he's identifying that stuff, can I actually go to the dungeon and do that or is that like not something I should do by myself? Absolutely. It's gonna, it's gonna take it's gonna take me fifty minutes to get through them all. So yeah, yeah, yeah you got I'm, time. I'm gonna go do that. Hey, no, you you the speaker, you got you got pull. Uh and then uh Professor, are you Detect magic? Yeah, are you detecting the magics? Correct. Particularly this mirror. I'm curious about. All right. Do you um, see Harry Potter and his as uh, parents, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
funny. Uh, I love that. I see myself winning the Quidditch match. God, I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Delphi, Flynn, would you like to come with me? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Professor, as you like ping the room, nothing, nothing comes across. Like literally the mirror uh, was just to feed Cataroth's own vanity. Get it? Got it. Um, mm. So yeah, it, like the, the room itself just seems comfy. Though you do notice that there isn't a bed in here. Yeah. Uh, so he very he could, didn't sleep, or if he did, wasn't anywhere comfortable. But uh, so so there is no magic. Say just tapping the mirror. It's it's solid. Absolutely, yeah. That's okay. a solid mirror. So. All right. So you do, uh, Professor. Yes. Here. As I'm going through my ritual book. Uh, I've take up. Mm. I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> and then, as now, who's 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 who's, who's looking for a dungeon? Uh, Zolvana. Zolvana. Yeah. Yes. Are you? Is she still around? She's like ten minutes gone, right? Because I took ten minutes to detect magic. Okay, cool. So you're detecting magic. So the professor's walking yes. off by himself. Zolvana walked off by herself. Flynn, Delphi, are you going with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Flynn and Delphia are walking with her, and the professor is walking by himself. I'm ten, 10 minutes behind wherever they. Ten are. minutes behind where everybody else is at. Lovely. Okay. And so, I fucking uh, I look up and like everyone's gone from the room except the cat and all the magic items. And then all items. of a sudden, like, yep. Touche is just there, and she just goes. <laughs> She's definitely in your lap right now. Like, then you know what? Touche. That that's actually better than her going. So what'd you get? <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> Feed me a child. It's like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, let's, so let's a go child ahead. for the cat. Oh my God, right? Uh, so, uh, Zilvana, Delphi, Flynn, you go ahead and head downstairs. Uh, Delphi, do you remember that perception check I made you make earlier? Um. I will as soon as I look back in here and see what I rolled. Yeah. An mm -hmm. 11. You rolled an 11, right? And what did you hear? You heard the sound of... A stone door thingy opening? Stone door thingy opening, right. So there was... Uh, somewhere in the teleportation room, you remember there being an entrance that was being used. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell Zilvana that. Dig it. So you pass that information along to Zelvana. So Zelvana, you think you have a pretty good idea of where at least to start. Uh, you go ahead and head down to lower level, make your way to the teleportation room where of course there are constantly a circle of cultists just sort of low moaning, chanting, keeping the circle active so that it may be used. Uh, and- Gotta rest. teach him a song or something. Yeah, right? Like, and it's just like, you are my fire. Fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> streams getting unstable again uh, this time uh, from uh, copyright uh, infringement yeah right i mean what what, what? <laughs> i mean the cold is dire oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh as you go ahead and check out that cellar i'll need you to go ahead uh there's that Grace Lab, and as you go ahead and walk towards it, you can see very clearly that there's a hinge spot in it, and you can easily open it up to drop down. Do you go into that hole? Uh, nobody, nobody. All right. No, can I, can no, I, I heard I, it. I, I, was was like, I wasn't not gonna. <laughs> can I? Can I make a perception check? Would that help? You absolutely can. Roll for perception. I mean, if we want to go in the hole, we can definitely go in the hole. Look, right. I think I think anybody who survived 2020 definitely went into the hole. So. <laughs> uh, Oof. Uh, 16. Is it is it just a drop? It is indeed just a drop. So it, uh, there's actually like a there's a small ladder that'll go ahead and and, and take you down. But. I'll I'll go down. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go down. Dig it. All right then. So we are now under the castle. So friends, this part of the map is gonna be uh, to the Southern portion <laughs> of the actual uh, area. Let me go ahead and give you a bead so that you can see. Oh, come on. 
Mm. Wait for it. There. Oh. Cool. So that escalated quickly. Yeah, right? <laughs> but all right, so uh all right, friends. Who's got dark vision? I do. Goggles down, I do. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Goggles down. I knew it. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, up ah, 60 feet dark vision. Yes. And I can cast light. So yep. goggles down, standing up. That's the way we'd like to explore. <laughs> The, <laughs> I was like, wait, how are you going to end that? Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. So, under the castle, uh, you so the wooden ladder clings to the west wall and it's held in place by iron brackets. The ladder descends 12 feet into a hall made of mortared stone and it's lit by four sputtering torches. Extending from the east end of the hall is a water-filled cistern. A small rowboat is tied off at the water's edge. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so as you go ahead and take the goosey gander, you see there. I think with your 60 feet, that'll get you. Yeah. I show my Nahana. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 about where your vision uh, kind of kicks out. So yeah. you see the rowboat. Now, uh, as you do come to there, Flynn, you notice that there is a... Uh, small room off to good god give me the right tool all right so uh there's a small room off to the north what is our i'm gonna go up there what is in there so this that's his people so this is cold storage oh god Mm -hmm. this room is empty except for four bodies wrapped uh, in sheets lined side by side uh, mm. on the floor. Um, Anyone want to investigate? Yes. Mm. Yes, we're going to investigate. Uh, I don't know what they look like, but he did say that the butler was married, so I'm going to look for like a wedding ring for un- between like two people to see. Nice, if- nice. Okay, uh, go ahead. Roll me, roll me an investigation, friends. All right. Good on you for remembering that the butler was married. Oh, I'm not good at investigation. Oh, I know. Oh. None of you are. I love it. Eleven. All right, an she's an eleven ooh. and a four. God, I got a fifteen. Hey, save way, us! Way to go, chosen one! <laughs> All right, so uh, so these bodies are three humans and a halfling. Uh, they were all, uh, but they're all cultists, as you can tell very clearly by the fact that they have one of the knights of the black sword pendants uh, across their necks. So. These all appear to be cultists that were murdered. Hmm. Judging from their wounds, uh, they didn't die peaceably, but you you can't tell if it was. I, I think anytime there's a wound, it's not a peaceful death. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Like a, a snake bite with like a snake that makes you dream. And then like... <laughs> Ah, the old dream snake. <laughs> yeah. No, I hate it. I hate the dream snake. <laughs> no, you remember the dream oh, snake. Man, that was bad. <laughs> well, right. buddy, that's, buddy, that's good. Dream <laughs> snake. Right. Oh, God. All um, right, everybody. You heard it first. That homebrew's coming at him. All right, so. Um. So. We're going to have to get on this boat. We got to get in the boat. Yeah. Do we have huh? to get in the boat? Yeah. You don't have to if you don't want to, Delphi. Um, but I don't want to be by myself with those, those things. Well, you can always go back up to, you know, hang out with Xander. All right. Everybody give me a perception check. Oh, Jesus no. <laughs> Luckily, Jesus. our good perceiver is frozen in ice. Yeah. I know. He's this cold. Ooh, 18. Nice. Oh, 14. I think I hit that like a hundred times, so just go with the uh, first one that I threw. That sounds good. Oh, yeah, I, go with the first one. Oh. I only has a 14. Okay, okay. Um, So, it doesn't take much to notice that as you glance towards the water, you see swollen, half-frozen bodies near the bottom. Mm. Weighed down. Hey. By their chain shirts. Mm. There appear to be about six human corpses 
and six dwarf corpses. And they appear to be wearing uh, the guard tabards of Care Denival. Mm -hmm. So just the guards? Uh, all right. Well, I you got I I gotta go deeper. Um, yeah. All right. I'm coming with you. This is a 20 foot wide arch tunnel, and it continues eastward into the darkness. The room arches about 12 feet above the water, which is yeah, you're looking at like an eight foot depth. You can kind of gauge from just how well you can see the bodies sitting how, at the bottom. How so, deep is the water? Eight feet. I think my I think I have a, a extendable staff that goes to ten. I think that's true. That I'm a gond true. I'm a gondola. This yes yes. Um, did did I remember something about um a crystal jewel <laughs> seeing under the water? I think should Xander's we, got it. He's doing identify on everything. Should we have? Should we get that? Should we hold off and get that first? Or should we just do this? I kind of, I, I kind of just want to go through now, um, okay. and just get this over with. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, go, it's going from, from bad to. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. And that's when we killed all the servants in the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll go with you. I don't, oh, I don't want to get in the body soup. Uh, I think at about <laughs> this point, I make my uh, way down. Yeah. So uh, with with Delphi's sort of indecision on uh, on the body soup, uh, oh. Professor, would you? Yeah. 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 No, I was, I was I was gonna roll have you roll a survival check just to see if you could actually figure out where they went. You're oh, I imagine he's asking everybody. Have you seen? Have you seen the no. new leader of the Black Sword? Did she go this way? That's true. Yeah, the cultists are definitely going to notice. Like, look at, look at brother, look at brother. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, good. Yep. I um, thought you were going to make him a little survival check to go down a ladder with one. I arm. did too, and oh my god, and he's not going to yeah. make it. <laughs> <laughs> the tentacle, the tentacles caught him. It's fine. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, the spectral tentacle. Mm -hmm. All right. So. uh and as Delphi's like, I, I don't want to go into the, uh, the the body soup. And then as she does that, the professor is literally just behind her going, what body mm. soup? Mm, soup. Delphi just, <laughs> no. Uh, soup, I love soup. Yeah. <laughs> First of so, all, this is cold. Second of all, no. So it's borscht. It's, it's still soup. It's a gazpacho. gazpacho. I'm pretty hey. sure it's the worst, but that's uh, all right. Aww. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, just not is, running stable tonight. Got to get rid of it. It's horrible. It just keeps blinking out. Uh, all right. Is this dumb boat big enough for all four of us, or are we taking it in pairs? So the the big the, so the dumb boat is designed for two people comfortably. Got it. You could try to fit three, four. Let me just say, like the, the capsize roll would be pretty quick. Yeah, let's not go for it. <laughs> all right, who here it. who here can row a boat? Oh, it, geez. what's a boat? All right, so um, you. Flynn, 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 you and I will be going. Delphi, stay here. It's fine. The perfect. I'm just gonna get the boat. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right. it's fine. Delphi, it's fine. We'll be if we don't hear from us in the ten in like ten minutes. Uh, call for us, and we'll turn around and head back. You're in the way. If you go ten minutes away, you're not gonna be able to hear me. That's true. Um, You're right. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay, Delphina. Delphi, look, you get Del Delphi. After you. You've got my shield. I've got to come back for that anyway at some point. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You'd only come back for your shield and not me. No, I was trying to like just. It was trying to. I was trying to be helpful. It didn't work. Um, <laughs> so again, okay. I'm just I'm foot, I'm foot in the boat. Ah. Uh, I'm already in the boat. Oh no, like, the boats are going. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, Flynn, Zilvana, you get in the boat, right? Yeah. Good. Roll me a D100. Flynn, oh, since you're controlling the Jesus. boat, roll me the D100. Don't roll low. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do this with with physical dice because I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. You fine, you fine. 
You bet. Thanks, you man. say that, and we started off today with like your a party death match. Yes, yes I know. Look, how many times are you going to bring up the death match? Honestly. Oh, man. <laughs> how great would it be if we survived the death match and then drown in a freaking rowboat? Oh, dude. Oh, so, oh. well, so wait, before you say the outcome of that role, Flynn. Uh, uh, we've just been gifted a uh, a D six inspiration with three hundred gold from uh, from Lock Me Up. Well so done, Lock. Me. I can I can roll the inspire and we can see if Flynn gets this D six, which he could add to this roll potentially in case we need it. I'd say we'll add inspire. inspire. There it is. It? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, then oh, I got it with a natural twenty, and I would love <laughs> to give it to him, but I'm not in the room with him, and I don't know if the DM will allow that. I, hmm. can, can I give him bardic inspiration? Oh yeah, absolutely you could. Okay. I'm just gonna do that then. Okay, right. yeah, I'm taking it. Thank, I'm using it. Thank you, uh, thank you. Lock me up for that for that that yeah. D six. Uh, unless you think I can give it, if I can give it to him, I totally will. Because I'm just upstairs doing identify. Yeah, I would. I would. Oh, typically when we friendly do friendly those... neighborhood DM. What's that? You're the friendly <laughs> neighborhood DM. Which is why we're going to go ahead and trust me, like the D6 inspiration should be just fine. Uh, with the D6 inspiration, that puts me at a 52. Oh, 52. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, okay. totally fine. Yeah. So you're able, to, <laughs> you're able to coast that boat along easy peasy. Uh, you notice that there is a small alcove to the north, which if the gods let me reveal. All right, uh, reveals that little entryway. Uh, do the two of you get out of the boat to investigate? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, question really quick oh. about about the, um, the, the, you know, this, this die, the, you know, percentage one yeah. if it's a zero zero does that mean it's a hundred or does that no. mean that's a Ex 10 excellent question that is actually zero zero or the single digits so oh. like so it'd be like it's zero zero like and a one would be you rolled a one like a zero zero and a nine you rolled a oh, nine. Like, okay unless you roll a zero zero and a zero and then that's a 100 that is the 100 you are correct a zero zero and a zero yeah Interesting. so trip zeros is a hundred even though it doesn't yeah. make sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. So Noted. Your savior locked me up is telling you not to get out of the boat. Do you get out of the boat? I yeah, said what? We're definitely getting out of the boat. Good. Get out of the boat. Excellent. So you get out of the boat. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, to me, the funniest thing is like, we're going to go. We'll see you all later. And then 20 feet, they <laughs> row over and then they get out. And they're like, no, it's OK. We're just going to go in right here, guys. No, you're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. So uh, as you go ahead and check out, there is Shh, don't you worry about it. Oh, God. I'm a bit worried fine. about it. Why you, is everyone's, everyone's so nervous. All what right, is that uh, dang token? Do you so, know you? There is, in the corner of the room, a sack of grain. Next to that sack of grain is oh, a it's harmless... A mouse. It's a mouse. It's a harmless rat who is chewing at the corner of the sack of grain. It looks up at the two of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then continues to chew on the sack of grain. Running around right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> See if you were uh, Xander, you'd be like, ah, yeah, fireball. <laughs> no, a Ganazar Scorcher. I don't have fireball yet. Not yet. That's why I'm trying to get you to hold off on level five so bad. All right. So, uh, excellent. Do you get back in the boat? I think we're going to yeah, get back in the yeah, boat. Okay, yeah, get back in the boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So you get back in the boat uh, and you continue on down the cistern. Yep. Hey, yeah. Oh. What's over there? Lovely. As you get back uh, hey, down hey the Hey, we found a rat. <laughs> yeah. Great. As you get back in the sister, I'm going to need you to roll another 100. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, 42. 40. Excellent. Doing great. You're doing great. This is so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to get in the boat? All right. So uh, as you go ahead and head, for, are you heading further down? Yep. Yeah. You notice that there is an entrance here. Damn you, ping. All right, there's an entrance <laughs> right here. 
at this sign. Oh. I'm going to ask the question I think I already know the answer to. Do you get out of the boat? Yeah, we get out of the boat. Of course you uh, Okay. Oh, bless your heart. Hey, is anybody in here? All right. Now, as you get out of the boat there, you do notice, because you both have dark vision, because the world is built on dark vision, um, there is, at this end of the cistern, appears to be a giant gate. Uh, it's actually uh, like a half-submerged, 10-foot square like slab of marble that just sort of is dropped down into what appears to be the rest of the cistern. So you're like, um, cool. Okay. So, but but this Gordon. hallway. <laughs> so, but this hallway, yeah, but I know. Hallway. I really just gotta check. Hey, hey, is anyone down here? But no. This... Okay. <laughs> so this hallway branches off to the to both the east and the west. Oh, good lord! Of course, it and is. then standing in front of you, I know. Split the party. Do it every time. Uh, so frost covers the floor in this 15 foot square room. To your left and to your right are narrow tunnels. And then across from you stands an eight foot pillar of ice with a horned pale skin humanoid figure trapped inside. The pillar is wrapped in black chains. Zilvana, as you, as, do you approach this pillar? Um, well, we kind of have to, to go down the hall. Uh, we, we don't, we, we don't, we don't have to. Okay. Do, okay. <laughs> I look, I, I look back and, and say, do you think this way, this is the way to the, uh, the dungeon or should we go down to the end of the hall? I think we should have asked one of your cultist minions to do this. Oh um, God. <laughs> um, <gasps> I, do, I don't I don't trust that with the chains and everything else here. This is I don't like, either. We we've we made yeah you know, but in this group there's been enough dealing with the devils. So both Zilvana and Flynn hear from the statue. Approach. So back in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> if you go back in the boat, it's a D100. <laughs> um, Damn, down there. Around if you don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm Flynn, have you found the prisoners? Mm -hmm. We found a statue. It's an ice that's got chains. Um, I got a feeling this isn't going to go well down here. And it's not a simple dungeon. Uh,. Do you want us to come out there? Yeah. <laughs> somebody, yeah. somebody should send a word to Xander. Um, All right. You I don't push, see, uh, push the boat toward me, and then I'll. I don't want to swim in the soup. I, I, I we, tell, have a, we have a, we have a boat, Delphi. I telepathically like boom, 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 the boat. Love it. Yes. This and is then why, I this can is why wait, and wait. then I can mage hand grab it once it gets close enough. If I just pull the boat back to me, will they have to make a roll to 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 to, to sail the boat? Yes. Okay. It is not necessarily. It's it's the boat on the water that requires the roll. Okay. And maybe something else as well. Can I use my wings to fly? Can I use my one minute super glowy thingy and you fly absolutely over? Absolutely, can go full on like Super Saiyan and just like. I don't like this. <laughs> and like, can I just pick up the professor and take him with you? <laughs> can she can I me? pick up the professor and take him with me? <laughs> Probably, Probably not. not. Pretty Did you eat today? How much do you weigh? I might uh, pick you up. Not very much. I am not a very hunky dude. It's true. He's not very hunky. <laughs> well, I mean, he I weighs mean, less now that he has one less arm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. With with two arms, I was like one eighty. So like yeah, maybe yeah. I'm one seventy. So let me see. Your arm Delphi. is ten pounds at least. I yeah. mean, my arm is probably yeah. at least it was, a good. It was 10 his right pounds. arm. Look, it's it's mostly muscle. And you don't know what he does with it. <laughs> ah, thank but, you. Uh, <laughs> well, now I'm gonna screw up my entire Google search history and and figure out how much does a human arm weigh. Wait, wait. Log in as Kira first. 
<laughs> All right. So, uh, Delphi, you would have so this. So, in order to in order to carry him, that would be an athletics check. But uh, you do okay, have okay. you do have a plus five in athletics. So, that's. I'm going. I'm going full on Super Saiyan, and Love it. my eyes turn completely silver. My huge wings come out. White, pure white feathers and little feathers like full on Sailor Moon little feathers Love going it. everywhere yeah. type deal. And I'm going to grab the professor and fly over. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. <that> <laughs> So you grab and like so as the boat so as <laughs> so Flynn do you start pushing this boat as you see her flying at you or like because you were already kind of telekineticing it and then she just like it's like I don't like this <laughs> and sure enough uh, Delfina please roll me a athletics check so yeah Google says average average human adult arm weighs about eight pounds. That's a 19. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, okay. With a 19, you're able to scoop up the professor like a small child and just like so you, you pick him up and you, you fly off of them. Good on you. I'm going to pull the boat back here then. Yeah, so <laughs> and you see the boat kind of drift out and, and then slowly drift, back in. drift back. And it's just like... <laughs> all right, so Delphina and the professor are now. So uh, I'm going to say, I, I love you all to death. You're going to have to actually get into the space, though. So Okay. Uh, and I get my wings for a full minute, and I will keep them <laughs> till they go away. Cause oh, I'm... y'all are dying! I got to go. <laughs> All right, brilliant. All right. So, Zalvana, you are now right in front of the totem. Yep, all up in its business. Oh, oh all good. up in its business. I love oh, it. God. All right, excellent. So, uh, I still have detect magic up. Excellent. Uh, Am I getting as, anything off this? Uh, so, n- off the totem itself, yeah, uh, you're getting a very faint sort of buzz uh, to Ooh. your. What would if you're looking at it from our perspective? What would be the the left side of the map? Uh, it's lighting up like a Christmas tree. Okay. Um, well, actually. So I stop confusing you with my poor sense of directions. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that, like, yeah, that's why we use east and west. This, oh, thank you, buddy. To the west, you <laughs> lights up like a tree. Uh, and Zilvana, I need you to make a con save. What is my con save? Oh, does she have any two. extra vision on east and west from there? She would, yes. But as she goes ahead and approaches towards it, she is immediately caught in this brown cloud that just <laughs> erupts up and over the statue. Yikes. Does 16 work? Oh, a 16 does. I need oh. you to take... Oh, no. Wow. Oh, wow. 17 damage. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh. 17, I'll be dead. <laughs> so that is going it's to be, uh, I need you to take eight, eight points eight damage. of damage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> eight, eight damage. All right. As you approach the statue, this cloud of brown dust just erupts up and over it and comes crawling towards you. You inhale it. Your constitution is high enough that you're able to resist it mostly, but you still find yourself hacking and coughing <coughs> as a brown mold had just assaulted you. Ew. Yeah. This is why you need to clean your dungeons, friend. Flynn's scarf is immediately over his face. Yeah. Uh, So as that as that goes off, uh, the rest of you sort of like shield your mouths and eyes and sort of back up away from it, knowing full well that uh, brown mold is not to be trifled with. Can I uh, use my wings while they're still out to blow the brown mold away from us? Brilliant. I love that. And as you do that, uh, coming forth from the west is an albino tiefling. What is oh. that? She looks at the group of you and says, get out. Cool. Uh, yes. Um, are there prisoners down here? Oh, God. Yeah, they are. They're beyond the locked gate. Use the lever that's down the other hallway. Open the thing. Go that way. 
Are we done? We're done. Yes, yes, Excuse cool. Me, Hi. Do we do we do you do you live down here? She gestures behind her. There is uh, what appears to be a storeroom, but it has a red rug, a narrow bed. Uh, there's a, a mirror as well. Uh, nothing's terribly remarkable, but very clearly, it is her living space. Are you part of the Black Swords at all? Right. Excuse me a moment. And Professor, like, sits down in the corner and whips out his <laughs> notebook. Don't mind, I, uh, don't mind him. But are, I, are Black Swords? Yes, no? No? You don't like them? Like them? If you are asking if I am a part of the Brotherhood, my association is one of necessity. Though I do... She looks directly at you, Silvana, and you lock eyes for a second. She's like, though you and I seem to have similar masters. Indeed. If you would leave me to my work, I have much to do down here. Uh, please, release the common folk there. From what I understand, they haven't been fed in quite some time and could probably use some help. What kind of work do you do? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go get this lever over here. My own. But you... So, do you serve... Levistus, or do you serve the leader of the Black Sword? I serve Levistus. All right. I'll leave you to your work. Good. Um, what, what's your name? They call me Avarice. Avarice? That's no. pretty. Avarice, 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 avarice. Get avarice. out. She avarice. turns. Wait, no, 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 back. avarice, avarice. You, you, I, uh, you, you were the one I'm looking for. Qua? <laughs> what? what? I like how everyone like turned up and looked in the same direction. Okay. <laughs> That's where we'll leave it for tonight. Oh, come on! We have two minutes. Oh. We have two minutes. Oh. <laughs> it is Z- 58. We have two minutes. Xander's upstairs and he was like, what the You're right. Hell? We have two minutes. Meanwhile, back upstairs and Xander. <laughs> uh. Just, I, I just identifying anything. Yeah. What if I'm sorry, I'm sorry for leaving you, buddy? What, what, uh, any, anything beyond what we had been told on things? So you discover that Trevor is just, in fact, a plus one scimitar Ooh. named Trevor. So, uh, the, the, the buckle of the rogue is exactly what was described. The red hot whetstone is exactly what was described. Uh, the quality quiver, however, is a quiver that holds 60 arrows. In addition, when you attune to it, it will begin to grow 1d4 plus two arrows a day. Those Ooh. arrows are plus one magical arrows. Oh, shit. Nice. They're plus one, you said? Mm-hmm. Holy crap. It's called the Quiver of the Forest. When you attune to it, flowers will b- bloom around the lip of it that are your favorite flower. Oh, that's pretty tight. Is uh, <laughs> Fairy Elves the only one that uses a bow typically, though? Right? Yeah, because uh, I, yeah, I believe among the group, I think we actually have a lot of crossbow users. Too. I have a I have a crossbow. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Would uh, I mean? I would get a bow just so I could have like. <laughs> <a little laughs> right? Yeah. Seriously. Would this thing? Would this thing? work on crossbow bolts or is it an arrow specific? It is specifically for arrows. So cool, 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 cool. you it, it doesn't it, it won't grow bolts. Um you could absolutely I mean I'm all for like amping up our little assassin so well there's that yeah. too. And right. don't worry, uh you, there are there will be opportunity for more items coming yeah, very soon. For sure, for sure. What about the crystal pendant? The crystal pendant is, in fact, uh, what it was described as. It, it, is a, it is a blue crystal pendant that will glow when put underwater. So basically, it glows whenever it comes in contact with water. So 
convenient for you know those of you who are going to go out onto the lake or uh should you find yourselves in a yeah. a submergible situation or even now in the cistern you could be in, in the soup yeah in the, in soup. the soup in the soup oh the... i just re- oh never mind no in worries the, in the people soup but ladies and gentlemen that will be uh the end of our stream for this evening oh uh, uh the old the old false ending yeah. <laughs> ah, baby. oh man i've been i've been i've been you have no idea i've been waiting since the professor first got here to be like how am i gonna get this summer bitch down to the cistern all right so <laughs> uh, 